Hello everybody, what's going on tonight? It's TCH Live Thursday. We got a special edition 5, 10, 25 with a uh, special guest here, Masato in town joining us here on the felt along with uh, some familiar faces, some new faces as well. So looking forward to a uh, great game here as we get things underway. Carly slinging out the cards for $25 PLO Bomb Pot. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the show. Let's go ahead and get things started. So where should I put the cards? So cards go here. Yeah. All right. So $25 bomb pot. We are starting a little bit shorthanded. We got five players at the table right now. We do have more players on the way. Go ahead and uh, get started with PLO bomb pot and let the others trickle in here. We've got a king high board on top, jack high board on bottom. Optimize here going to be first to act. He's just got top two pair on top and the top pair on the bottom board. So not too shabby, but not a lot of ways to improve his hand. He does check over and around to the vet here in the one seat. He's going to go ahead and take a stab here with some drawing type uh, potential. Optimize will make the call. And Masato here, got 10 high spades, so a little bit better spades than Devet. But he is just going to let this go as he decides he doesn't have quite enough to continue. Nine and ace of clubs come off on the turn. And Devet is just going to take a free river card here. Does improve to the spade flush on the top board. Optimized going to be best with trip jacks on a bottom. Let's see if Devet goes for a big bet here to try to push Optimize out of the pot and take the whole thing down, or if he just is happy enough to get to showdown here with nothing on top. I mean, I suppose a pair of nines, or uh, sorry, on bottom, nothing on bottom. Um, yeah, doesn't even have a pair down there, so. He is just going to check his option. There we go to showdown, and they'll hack up the pot. And that'll move us right along out of the bomb pot action and into the two card action. Going to take a look here at the chat. Already poked my head in there earlier to say hello. Did see a lot of the usual su suspects. Poker Monkey, Frank, what's going on? Reina, of course. Got a kicker problems joining us as well. What's up, buddy? Oh, Captain Under Pairs, how's it going? Shaggy JTX, how's it going? Uh, Welcome to the school bone. How you doing? Four or five pitchers combined for no hitter. Eli, how's it going? Yeah, of course, of course I was on Philly. Yeah. This is going on. Andrew asking if Masato will have a uh, beat tip higher than the Wadi line. I bet Philly. Uh, he hasn't so far. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I think it should be a good stream nonetheless. Once again, we do have a few more players uh, going to be joining us here in just a little bit. Yeah, it works well. Good. Yeah. And we are doing a mandatory $25 straddle, so you'll be coming in on the $25 straddle. All right, you good, Mo? Here we go, two card underway. The $25 straddle is on. Santo oh. not going to open the jack nine off from the cutoff. So that will open with the ace jack off, however. And D time here from the straddle will defend and take up the flop, 10 8. And right in the window, cleaning a six behind it. So D time here flopping fast. As a natural check over to the button. And the vet here is going to go for a two thirds continue with the gut shot to Broadway. D time, of course, will make the call. And that is the card he wanted to see, as uh, you don't really like to stick around for too many additional streets with just the second pair. But now he's got two pair. Devet is happy to check back. 
And uh, when you have a deuce of hearts here on the end, any time, it's going to come out betting for value. And this will allow Devet to get out of the hand sort of uh, cheaply. As he may have felt like he had enough showdown beating some of the busted diamonds, things of that nature, to not bet the river. But he may have also decided to go for a bluff and probably just checking it back there. But D time does go for the bet. Doesn't get paid, of course, by the ace high. And uh, we'll ship the pot, though. Mr. Lottie joining us here in the chat. What's going on? Says uh, he expects he'll be above the line tonight. I bet that's true. Andrew asking how I did in the monster. I did not do anything in the monster. I uh, pumped up the prize pool a little bit. That's about it. <laughs> we'll get back after it next time, though. All right, Jacob, you're putting on the $25 straddle. One, two, and KFC joining us there in the four seat is out of the way. D time just going to limp from the big blind. Jacob will check his action with the dominated jack. Go heads up to a flop, which neither player connects with. But D time here is going to overbet the pot with his queen high and just, uh, just take it down. Forty ounces of freedom joining us here in the chat. What's up, man? Welcome. So uh, I was going to have uh, Mr. David Pratt join me here in the booth tonight, but he had some meetings that uh, were going to run late, so we'll see if he jumps into the chat here at some point later on, and we can get our gamble on at the very least. But I'm going to go ahead and start things off for myself, try to pump up my, my points balance a little bit. Good luck, uh, good luck up there. Will, I... We'll probably be there for the main myself. Still sort of deciding on that one, but I think I'll drive up there. Ooh, a nice roll to start things off. Almost 20K in the pocket now. All right, three players going to take a flop here. 230 in the middle. Comes 10 high with a couple of clubs. And that is uh, not going to hit anybody. Jacob does have two overs and some backdoor opportunities but he's just going to check it over. Optimize here. The original Razor from the cutoff is going to put out a continuation bet of 125 here. Just about half pot. Jacob has one of those hands that uh, yeah feels a little bit uncomfortable folding, but also isn't super pumped on just like taking off a card for the set price. If you're gonna continue, you kinda need to check raise and you're like, oh, I probably have enough other check raises, clubs and seven eights of diamonds. And, you know, things things that are gonna just have a lot more playability. But, you know, you can take a, a hand like queen, ten, or queen jack and, and get after it sometime. Does decide against it. Just get in today? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 the Yeah. 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 <laughs> Josh will limp from the big blind, and Masato will check his option with the jack-10. The so six out there for Josh. <coughs> He'll check, though, and Masato quickly checks behind. Ace now on the turn. Not really a card that uh, 
I would generally think should inspire betting, but Josh does go for it. Try to get a little value from a five or diamonds, perhaps. One opponent could be holding. And our newest addition to the table, Josh, is going to take down his first pot. Poker monkey, oof, yeah. Just about bubbled the uh, the money there in that turbo today. Well, good run, good show though. Josh, can you scan your cards, please? Uh, both at the same time. All right, optimize here with little slick. He's not interested. Jacob on the button, though, with a couple of eights. He is going to raise this up. Masato folding the deuces from the big blind. And Devet folding king nine off. Those are some snug ranches right there. I uh, feel like uh, deuces from the blind and king nine are certainly worthy of defense at a reasonable frequency. I don't know. I mean, it's early. These players still trying to feel each other out. And, I mean, yeah, you never love playing out of position with those hands, as you can just get yourself into a lot of trouble. The deuce is perhaps a little bit easier to play because you just hit something you don't. But, um, yeah, a little surprise. All right, KFC here going to raise it up. Ace 10. Josh will make the call on the button. Lions get out of the way, and here we go. Heads up to a flop. King 10 5, the doogie. Pair here for KFC. And he will continue. Half pot size bet, and Josh will quickly call. Eight of clubs now on the turn. Another over card to the sevens. Of course, if your opponent keeps betting. You're not usually afraid of that card necessarily, but uh, never does quite make you feel that great. Checky, checky on the turn, and it's another eight, so running eights here, and KFC should be feeling pretty good about his hand. Let's see if he goes for some small value, something like one-third to one-half pot, and he goes two-thirds almost. And Josh, maybe just a little bit too big. Yeah, as Josh is going to be able to let that one go. Going to defend a lot of worse tens, though. And KFC will have all of those tipped with the kicker. So I think the bet is very reasonable. Uh, just you know, unlikely that you're going to get called by anything that isn't sort of a cooler type situation. Where your opponent has uh, a 10 with a kicker that doesn't play. get in at red ass. It might be a tough thing to do, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's always interesting like, to you see might go late, early, early, but because they hook uh, up, like, construct their bet hands, check bets. But Italian downtown, like, across like, a lot really of different really samples. Because some people are very just, like, standard about the bet check bet always like, being, like, just a bluff. They sort of bet the flop, do, hoping the to be pulled. He called, so they're like, yeah, I guess I just check on the turn, and then it's like, well, here we are in the river, and yeah. I don't know, the only way I win is if I bet, so bet, check, bet, is always is sort of fishy, whereas if they actually have something, they usually just go bet, bet, check, or bet, bet, bet. But uh, a good, balanced opponent is going to have plenty of bet, check, bets with uh, top pairs, second pair, good kickers, um, you can even mix in sets, and different things that board texture-wise, you just don't feel like you're going to be able to get three streets out of. And, uh, yeah, lots of lots of ways to structure strategy. Nice big chunky raise here from Josh as he's got top and bottom pair. And unfortunately for him, Optimize does not have a hand that can continue unless he thinks that his opponent is just up to no good. But it's going to be really tough to play this one out of position with just ace high and no real tangible way to improve your equity. But I do suspect Optimize is going to have to let this go. Yeah, 
that. He does. Feels a little bit like he just got bullied there because it's such a weird, like, disconnected board. He, he actually gets Josh to turn the hand over to get the information that he did have a very strong hand. King Deuce, perhaps not the hand you would expect him to have ever, but uh, he does nonetheless show up with it there, and nice to get that information. Not only do you see that he's willing to play the King Deuce off from the cutoff, but also raised in a spot like that. He just had it. See if that influences things as we move along here. Josh, you're just going to limp the ace jack from the hijack. So bring Optimize and KFC in with some disconnected diamonds. And D time. He's going to get to see a flop with a blackjack hand. See if he can double down. He doesn't connect with this in any tangible way. Backdoor clubs and backdoor straight opportunities is the only thing he's really working with. We are going to check all the way through here. And it's a jack of spades now on the turn. Josh here is going to pick up a pair. KFC, who would flop the top pair, no kicker. Going to start betting now. Josh, of course, will make the call. And a meaningless nine of spades here on the end. KFC with the best hand. Half pot there about. A little bit over, two thirds once again. Likes that two thirds sizing. And Josh here, who improved on the turn, and there's not a lot that uh, starts betting on the turn and keeps betting the river that you're ahead of. But he does make the call. And he's going to find out the bad news that uh, second pair top kicker is no good to the top pair no kicker. And uh, nice awareness there from KFC, recognizing that he can continue going for value against such a hand as Josh just might have there. And Josh, uh, Josh paying that one off pretty quickly. I don't know, that's a spot where it's like kind of maybe take a, take a minute to squint at the board a little and be like, wait, 7-8 got there, King-10 got there. Like, a lot of the things that might have a natural check flop just to take a free card and then start betting, well, they might just be there by the river. That 9, a really bad river card for his opponent's uh, bluffing range to have improved. But sometimes you also just have a hand that you feel like is a little bit too strong to give up ace check there. $100 straddle is on. Let's go. And optimize on the button. Coming up with a nice hand. He's going to 3x this to 300. And Josh is going to make the call with Little Slick, the dirty diaper, three high. And here we go. Just the flop he was looking for with the deuce three off. Quick check over to Optimize here, who is just going to keep the pot manageable and check it back. And if ever there is a card for you to see to make you feel like you are in good shape, it is a jack of diamonds on the turn. Optimize here should keep this small. 640 in the middle. 250 is the bet. I mean, honestly, with a full Badoogie board there, I might just check again. Right? And when it's just like check, 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 your opponent might sort of get the inkling that you're on something like pocket seven, sixes, fives or something. You're just like hoping to get to showdown and win with a pair. And they could bet like three quarters of the whole pot on the river. And actually, like, when you're the pre-flop aggressor and you sort of go check, check uh, on the flop and turn, your opponent can really put a lot of your hand rate. I mean, I want to I mean, I watch, like watch Monday Night Football, bet too, but I don't on know that it's going to really On the river, so that, that also could have been something yeah, that um, you could sort of trap Philly, into, uh, let your opponent Houston. try to really push you around <laughs> off of then the other Philly everything. Houston game. <laughs> and then just have a nice little uh, That's never rolled up uh, trip jacks there. So. Let's go for the bet, of course, three high. It's the Eagles and, and Texans football, too. These spots oh. also just kind of tough to navigate football. in the moment. Eagle, Eagle, you know, when I can see the card, oh, yeah. so we're just sitting here watching that. It's easy to dissect crazy. Crazy. how you could go about it for maximum value. 
there's no way you can play it. No. That's pretty cool. In different ways. But uh, when you're actually there, feeling the stress of being in the position and wondering what on earth your opponent might have, it's never easy. Josh here has uh, put three high behind him and is working with a five high. This gun has a whole lot of nothing, but it's not going to bluff with it. And KFC is just going to get to turn over the ace eight for fourth pair and shift the pot. I do feel like if you're going to play a lot of these sort of raggy type holdings, it's best to not overblock, right? But at the same time, you do want to protect yourself. Like, if you're going to play a lot of hands, you kind of need to be bluffing at a, at a above average frequency. Just because you're playing more hands, like, you're going to need to be bluffing more in order to win. I mean, if you just keep showing down five and three high and stuff like that, like, that's just not going to be human money. Um, so we'll see if that changes. I mean, perhaps if he has a little bit more equity, yeah, he's going to be better. more willing to, uh, to Man, take I some bluff like lines. But you know, that, that seems like a well, slam dunk to his body. Yeah, got beat, yeah, 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 check, 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 check again. Tax <laughs> out, I'm like, it's over. Give him the business, five high. My uh, father-in-law who lives on my street, so the Bills fan, I went more to Josh Allen, New Jersey, just to support him all year, so I could have some AFC here waking up with number one after Optimize opened the hijack. Four raise to 250. 250 is seven. the raise here it's over like 3x. KFC and Josh looking at a couple I mean, of deuces, teams, and yeah. he is not nearly so good with full team. He is facing an open and a free bat. And Patrick, he's. Both of them, man. And Josh is going to cold call this out of position from the big blind. Yeah, this is going to let Optimize get out of the way as there's really not much point in continuing other than the fact that you're getting a pretty reasonable price with the cold call in between. But over to Queen 9 off really doesn't feel great unless you make exactly like two pair plus. Comes King High, no dudes. They are good tandem. And Josh will quickly check it over. KFC, I imagine, would go for a small size here, but. Uh, him in there for protection. A couple of different ways you to go with this. You could you check know. it back, yeah, or even go for a like big size, but screen. I like the check back. Your opponent did cold call out of the blind, so they're going to have some like middling pair type stuff that could interact the around the eight, those are my two teams. if not on top of the eight. And then they can also I mean, definitely have so some yeah. king queen holding. So it'd be reasonable to just check back, see what they do on the turn. If they start betting, you can just call in position. And if they check, then you can start betting for value, which he will to the tune of 450, once again, about two thirds. And Josh here with the deuces, I mean, there's really no reason to continue. King high boards are super good for the three better. And even when they check to you, that doesn't mean they're uncapped. It, in fact, it could mean that they've just got the world and are hoping to just catch up. So we would like to fold there. KFC will take that medium sized pot. Pocket pieces. Your final Austin McCarthy wants to know what cards ball. are they using? Are they, they might win it all. They are RF yeah. Poker, yeah. Uh, proprietary brand of cards. See there on the felt, PCH Live brought to you by RF Poker. They're not quite even money. Are the team behind all, the table, the are, cards, which is and the software. Very, very like low odds for 10 and a half. Right. <laughs> To Seven folds, eight folds. Optimize here, going to raise it up from a $25 straddle to 100 and no taker. Looking at the earnings there, KFC up about 900, optimize up to 50 thereabouts. He time up a little bit and everybody else stuck. But it is early, only on hand number 14. Um, he's just like, no, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Captain of the Paris Tarot. Yes. Yes. Patrick will find him. <laughs> and he, and, oh, I watched it with my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so hard. Oh. I was just like. What's that favorite hand? And, and he's tough when he gets the ball in his hand. And he's hard to bring down. That's your favorite game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I'll drive him. All right, straddle is on. Josh here going to lift the butt. Clean deuce off. 
the vet here, King Jack off. He's gonna come in for the squeeze. 5X, and Josh will make the call. And here we go, heads up to a flop. A time board with the king. The vet here, second pair, decent kicker, yeah. Out of position, he's just gonna check it over. Josh has some backdoor opportunities that do not materialize. Board pairs the three, and Josh now drawing dead. Going into the river, checking all the way down. And the vet definitely go for the teensiest of value here. He's gonna go for big value, two third sizing. Probably, I mean, I guess, you, like, you show up here with pocket fives, five of spades, and you just kind of, I don't know, check, 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 check. Okay, maybe I hero you off, but probably not. <laughs> Mankinor Midnight, do they have 25, 50 cents? TCH. No, we don't run that. We have one two though that uh, that plays pretty pretty good. Uh, very very uh, juicy games here at TCH. But if you're looking to play the micro stake, uh, don't have that. So what would happen if they charge the part time and put the looted machine and looted or like a blackjack with no rake? <laughs> All right, Josh, well, going to go ahead and open it up. King, Queen of Times, KFC will defend yeah. this, right? from the yeah, straddle. Yeah, yeah. I guess so no heads up to a Queen High Four two tone. But then Top pair for Josh like, here. Let's he let's will bet the pot. Right? Yeah. And KFC who, easily it's, gets okay, away from it. Definitely don't mind the big bet there. I think this is the type of board where you're going to want to use a large size. When there's a lot of draws, when, you're, when your opponent is just going to have a lot of different hands that can continue and will have a sizable piece of the equity, you want to charge them more as they are going to call more. We built that pot when we've got top pair good kicker. The problem a lot of players think is that they'll uh, sort of stick with one size and always go small or always go medium or something. And there are certain boards where you want to go big and other boards where you want to go small. All right, a bunch of napkins go in the bin. KFC will complete from big blind D time checks like this option. Here we go, heads up to King High Board. Yeah, every 30 minutes, yeah. KFC here gonna take a little stab, and by a little, I mean full pot stab. Quick call from D time, and KFC's like, oh cool, I guess you have something. And there's a king on the turn, so I probably don't like this. <laughs> Quick check back from D time, and the diamond yeah, gets there. Let's see if KFC Roger wants to try to rough diamonds or something, but he doesn't. Yeah, and now D time, of course, time with what is effectively the going to go ahead and yeah. Yeah. Five for half pot. Yeah, they, they, did, they did this thing where the players would like flip to see who would yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like time prop, yeah. yeah. I was playing blackjack at the bicycle in LA many years ago. And I sat down heads up at the deli. And when I won a hand, there was a suit there that paid me. So he was the banker. So somehow they were, they must have got around the law where she couldn't pay me, but he could. So I felt like I was playing two on one. Every time I won a hand, every time I won a hand, she'd look at him and and, uh, and he'd go, yes, pay, you know. It was the craziest thing. I said, this doesn't seem fair, guys. The hurdles we jump. Yeah, $25 straddle is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that what they still do? I don't know if that banker's still there or not. That was Josh going to open his but, uh, bicycle. Sorry, low jack. In California. So she's and yelling to me, I'm heads up. And he's standing next to her, and if I won, he would look at her and go, <laughs> and a few hands when I went.
must have been a wall that she couldn't pay me. But the bank could. It was crazy. A loophole. I don't know if they still do that or not. I didn't want any more of it. Of course, they beat me like a drum, the two of them. <laughs> yeah. They took a lot. You guys are in or around the Austin area. You want to come on down and hang out with us here at TCH Austin? Got some, uh, some promotions going on all throughout the month of November. The play and save $25 rewards bonus. You uh, are checked in between 5.30 or 9.30. Between 9.30, 5.30 and 9.30 uh, each day. And uh, the more you play, the more you save. Play four hours, get 10% off your hourly. Five hours, 20%. Seven hours straight will get you 30% off. And if you play 10 hours straight, the True Grinder Special, 40% off your hourly rate. We also have quads of the day with a $200 daily rollover and hourly high hand between 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. So all sorts of fun things to give back to the players here at TCH Austin. King for Josh here. Three bet three. Call check check on the flop. Masato just eight high going into the turn. And Josh with top pair, top picker, and the nut heart draw goes for a bet and just takes it down. Our sanctuary joining us here in the chat. What's up? Perhaps you've been here for a minute. Good to see you. What was strange about it was he was hovering over me. He was so close to me, the table, you know. He, he was hovering, you know. Like, kind of like a pit boss, real close. You know? like, and, and I asked him, I said, hey, man, can you screw back a little bit? He said, no, I'm the banker. And I was like, huh? The dealer was cute, but he was a knucklehead, you know, no personality. Just wanted my money, you know. Blackjack's one of them games, if you beat them, they think it's their money, you know. <laughs> All right, pulls over to Josh. He is going to make a call. Queen 8 suited. Masato here. King 6 suited. Gonna go for a raise. Josh here, I suspect, is going to call, but no. He's going to just fold it there. Much better hand than some of the other ones, but uh, perhaps just not interested in playing out of position. As the previous time, the queen deuce, the, the king deuce, he was in position. So favoring that quite a bit, which is understandable. Certainly going to have a lot more opportunities to win when you are in position. However, queen ain't suited there. It's going to be pretty good hand to put into your limp falling range. <laughs> just because it's going to have decent playability. Yeah. Trey's like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a channel. If you really don't like it, you probably just have to do it. Probably just have to do it. So, uh, a little bit curious. He looks that way. Oh, everybody, everybody rolling low here in the chat. Maybe it's time for me to go for it. Maybe, maybe all the good stuff is waiting. I don't know if it's been long enough. I think it has. There you go. Give it a try. All right, looks like three players going to the flop here. He's in a couple of kings. <coughs> it's no one. Sato's still best with a redraw to Broadway. Checks through three of hearts doesn't inspire anyone to start betting. And we get a free river card. Masato is going to win if we get to showdown here. Yeah, nobody taking a stab at this. Queen high is good. Thank you very much, Skullbone. All right, I guess i got to wait another uh, couple minutes. Yanni here saying Josh is loose aggressive. Yeah, so far we have seen him playing quite a few hands that are outside of the standard ranges. I haven't been playing them particularly aggressive, I would say, but um, mostly at this point looking to hit flop. 
this when he doesn't sort of uh, get out of the way. But we'll see. A lot of that can change on any given moment. All right, Josh here just going to limp his butt. King 10 off this time. Because that will also make it on. Optimized with a suited ace four. He's going to squeeze this up to 160. Josh not interested in playing the King 10 in position. So Ziggin and Zaggin here, not, uh, not staying consistent Why would you go out in public and do that? In terms of why would she? Last she's at a sporting, you know, she's married, he's married, yeah. and they're all over each other at a hockey game, a basketball game. Uh, they, they had Peter Marshall proof, joining us here in the chat. Hey, what's up, man? I'm well, sure we would have heard about it. But I mean, I'm wondering if at a certain point, enough time has gone by that Garrett doesn't start getting flack. Or he's already starting to get money. Is he? Like, they're saying like he doesn't get the money back, like he's not going to be welcome to a lot of streams, or it's going to be hard for him to play on a lot of streams. Wow. That like he, that it just looks really bad, like especially with all yeah. the, she's been defiant with the lie detector tests. I mean, there's all kinds of when stuff. she flew to Vegas to take one, take one. Oh, what? So I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm fifty-fifty. One day I'm thinking. It had to be in the next favorite poker villain slash hero. Yeah. But I thought that was pretty weird, her all over that. And her yeah. husband is See an that attorney. Moment. He's going to sue. Yeah. Jack Nine suited versus the 10 5 suited. LA, you know. Josh here once again <laughs> limping from the cutoff. He's going to find himself with the top pair here. KFC, though, once again going to come out now with a lead. Yeah. 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 Nearly yeah. Josh makes the call. It's another 10. And this is like the same situation KFC had earlier against the time. <laughs> Josh will check it back. His hand is like never going to lose. I mean, on the end, yeah, so like, why? Yeah. 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 Really tough for KFC to think. Like, if you think you got cheated, then you just need to let the uh, process play itself it. out. If the money should go in escrow somewhere. He is. going to go for it. 300. 2x pot here. He's pretty and I, I mean, I if you're Josh, like, <laughs> you're just calling. Like, like, you're not really afraid of losing, <laughs> but raising doesn't really accomplish that much. Because if your opponent does happen to have it was all very circumstantial. It's all just like mean uh, ten. Like there's no, there's, you just put a bunch of money in no, there like, actual, for no reason. Your opponent is either just like bluffing or has something. I mean, I guess you could try to play a lot of bad play on her part. Shop, that doesn't make sense either. That's the thing. He is gonna raise though. He's going to go for it. Says, I just, I've got a full house. Like, I've got the best hand. And I just I don't even think a seven can call you. Pretty much the only thing that you're going for is to just get paid off by a seven there. But understandable, perhaps, if that is your goal. The 2x overbet, though, just very polarizing. You don't really see that when has a seven too often. He's a criminal, you know. Seven is to try to incentivize the team. Then the owners that did the stream, they play, you know. I mean, I mean, I like Nick. I think he's pretty honest. I don't know. That's at least the he's way that my mind game and he knows that, you know, he goes over these things. Whole deal's good. Everybody can have a different perspective. I know he's not spoke for him. That's probably what I'm going to be able to do. It doesn't look good. Oh, no, no. I'm not doing the crazy struggles right now. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now it's time. Let me fire up a gamble. Let's see what it's like. Peel off some TCH Live loyalty points from the deck. We've got Josh limping his hijack. KFC going to raise 5x squeeze from the big blind. D time here. We jack off. Ooh, got one through. D time is going to go ahead and let that go. And Josh has already made the call. So here we go. Heads up between KFC and Josh. KFC with the betting lead out of position. Ace high four danger. Will Robinson. One third size here from KFC. Quick call from Josh. Going to need to find something on the turn. Does not get that. 
is now drawing very thin. AFC here with two flush draws on the board. Does have the Ace of Diamonds, so doesn't have to worry too much about his opponent having some sort of Ace X of Diamonds combo. We go 375 here, so relatively modest sizing given the texture of this board, but he does interact with it very strongly. Has the Ace, has the Ace of Diamonds in particular, so also understandable to uh, want to keep the price cheap. But if your opponent has an ace or a flush draw, right? Like, you might put more money. 375, though, seemingly a price that Josh is unwilling to go with. Body language here is indicating fold, and indeed he does fold the top pair nine kicker right there on the turn. Interesting place. All right. Does get away from it, though, so. Definitely got some attention, though, dude. That is certainly going to save him some points. All your buddies that yeah. don't play or talk about poker, yeah. friends and family, yeah. everybody's talking about it. Yeah. I saw some, uh, some couple dressed up. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah, they dressed right. up as Robin. All right, looking at the pre-flop raise percentages. Yeah. And they have, like, these hilarious... D-time holding it down at 0%. Everybody else That's has a little something. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the, the gaping shirt. Like yeah, it was. It was, it was so <laughs> funny. It was like one of those like like rubber inserts. Like yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it was so it's just like honey, just lay them out on the table. Press them here so it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. There's certainly a world within which you have top pair and don't interact with the diamonds or the hearts. So you're gonna want to continue defending in case your opponent is bluffing. But uh, you know, each their own. Sato here with a couple of black nines. He's gonna go for a raise if everybody gets out of the way. Thank you. Well, if, it's, if it was legit, it was a one hell of a call. <laughs> Might have been the best call ever. <laughs> yeah. I think we do have at least one player still on their way. It's going to be a little bit late to the show. We'll see. We have a couple open seats here, so we get a couple more players in. Folds to Jacob. No, it does not fold to Jacob. We're we'll waiting on the uh, action tracking to get caught up here. Optimize opens to 75 percent cutoff. Jacob will make the call in the big blind, as will Josh from the straddle. So three players to a flop. A couple of mystery hands out there. As they seemingly got uh, erased during the, the rewind. Ace high flop check. Check over to Optimize. Quick check back there from Optimize. Unlikely that he has an ace, although we cannot see his hand. You can check back with some ace four, ace five type holdings, things of that nature, but the front door clubs you're going to want to bet a little bit more often, a little bit more frequently. However, you do open yourself up to the ever infrequent check raise on ace high boards. So sometimes you just check there too. Anyways. Uh, Ace of Spades on the turn. Optimize takes a little, little stab, a little tickle. Down. Got some uh, Thursday night football about to kick off here. In just about 15 minutes, I think. Is it my, am I right? Uh, we got, uh, you go. you got the Houston Texans against the Philadelphia Eagles tonight. In one of my leagues, I have Damian Pierce, the running back for the Texans. And in my other league, I'm playing against him. So I'll be sort of on the fence about how I want him to perform. I actually, I guess in one of my leagues, I still have a decent winning record of 5-3 and three and have a pretty good shot at making the playoffs in that one. My other league, I'm now three and five, and going up against one of the best teams in the league. So it's kind of like probably just toast, no matter what. But I guess I could win out. I mean, if I win out with five losses, uh, it's not the end of the world, right? 
Let go finish eight and five going into the playoffs. I could I could squeeze out a uh, wild card spot perhaps. But in any case, we'll see. I also have Miles Sanders for the Eagles in that uh, league where I am sort of the scrub master. So we'll see. Be keeping an eye on that throughout the evening, that's for sure. All right, Josh and Masato here make it to the river. Seven of clubs. Masato does now have a straight. Josh with just king high. Where did it go? Thank you. Skullbone here mentioning the cruise. And yeah, those, uh, those rooms currently still available. I don't know the exact count, but there are some still available. At some point here, I will run the advert so you guys can uh, check that out. Be reminded all about the TCH cruise coming up in March of next year. I will be on there. It's going to be one heck of a good time. Very much looking forward to that. But yeah, if you are thinking about getting a cabin, hop on it. Get that done sooner rather than later before they run out and or the prices go up. All right, bolt around to Josh. He's going to limp from the small blind with 10 deuce off. Big believer in the Donald Brendan. Otherwise known as Doyle Brunson. Devet will check his option. Here we go. Jack high board. Nothing for either player. Checky, checky. Another seven on the turn. Devet here still best. Josh still checking. Josh really has not shown a lot of aggression in these spots where he comes in with a very disconnected bad hand and doesn't try to doesn't try to push his opponents out of the way. This certainly being a hand where he might have gotten something done, Devet really would have had to buckle down with just the king high. And we'll see another pot go away from Josh. Where, okay, I think. I mean, if you're going to play a lot of hands, you kind of got to start bluffing a little bit more. It's my opinion. Anyway. All right, $25 PLO bomb pot as we are at the top of the hour. I'm so sorry. It was interesting to see how players uh, who come in from out of town, how they navigate the uh, PLO bomb pots. I mean, I know they're not just you know, exclusive to the state of Texas, but we certainly play them here more than pretty much anywhere else, as far as I know. That's certainly what everybody seems to say and everywhere I've been, which is arguably not very many places to play poker outside of the state of Texas. Um, PLO bomb pots are not a prominent holding. Or fixture, I should say. Right, ace high board on top, two tone. A couple of ladies, two tone on the bottom board. Masato here, who has trick queens and two pair on top. Backdoor heart opportunities working as well as some gut shot and straight opportunities. So he'll, he'll pot it for 150. And Nobody has anything to defend, and Masato is just going to take that down. Pretty good spot there, actually, to just ship the pot, as those boards are pretty connecty, even though you have you know, sort of hit them pretty good. Masato there, after taking down that bomb pot, is now stuck just about 70 bucks. Josh down the most, down 700. KFC up the most, just about 600. And number 29, KFC 9, his seat to play the 7-5. Jacob seven is in his seat, but won't play the 9 dude. Josh, though, on the button, going to limp 10-6. Off suit. And Devet wakes up with number 1. one, raise to one Squeeze incoming to 125, and Josh will quickly get out of the way, so... 
It's a win, but it's not the win he had in mind when he looked down at two aces. Oh. See there in the chat, TCH Live Poker put in 130 likes as our goal here for the evening. I have done my due diligence and struck the like button with the force of at least two ostriches. If you would like to, to one up me, I want to ask so I don't end up on all the obliterate the like button with the force of as many ostriches <laughs> as you <laughs> deem appropriate. Help us get to that like goal of 130. <laughs> I do want to appreciate you guys or, or give you guys a shout out and say that I appreciate you guys for tuning in, for hitting the like button, for doing all the things that you do. To be part of the TCH Live community. Jacob here, going to raise this up 75 to go. And Josh. We'll see if he can find a set of threes on the flop. He'll make the call. KFC will just make the call with the A6 of diamonds. I like that. I think uh, squeezing with uh, the suited wheel aces would be pretty standard. But A6 of diamonds, you can go two ways with it. Just calling is certainly fine. Does find himself with the top pair here, but is out kicked. Josh does find the set of threes, so a little bit of something for everybody here. Now let's see how Josh plays this. A couple of clubs out there. He is going to raise this right away for what looks like a small size. Eight no, it's, it's almost a 3x. It is a 3x, I should say. And KFC here facing a bet from the original Razor and then a raise from the cold caller. I think he can get away from that pretty easily. He does. But Jacob, yeah, certainly going to have a tougher time navigating this spot as he is way behind the top pair. Does not improve on the turn. Does not bring in a club that would sort of uh, help him get away from this. But he does have a club in his hand, which is going to block some of the club draws. And Josh is just going to ship it all in here, 1,800 into a pot of 900. So a 2x over bet shove. I think now if you're Jacob, having the jack of clubs sort of like, yeah, I guess I just fold. Like, there's no straight draws to speak of. There's just there's two pairs of sets. Your opponent just cold called you. They could have pocket threes. They could have ace nine, ace three. I mean, hell, if you've seen some of the hands that Josh has showed up with, I mean, might be suited to not even be out of the realm of possibility. But of course, it does suck when you have top pair, decent kicker, and Jacob's going to make the call drawing dead. Jacob is going to double up his neighbor and Josh, who has been playing a lot of pots and not really getting any traction, is going to get the dub here. 2x over that shove, get himself paid. And just like that, Josh, who was stuck the most just a moment ago, is now going to be our biggest winner at this point. We'll get uh, his chips all counted into the R Poker Action Tracker, and we will see just how much he has profited. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Just about one and a half K. Jacob now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to grab some purple pink chips. Get himself a rebot up to 4K mark. Shaggy asking, why would you push there? Well, one argument to be made for going all in with your biggest hands is that um, if you were going to bluff clubs or some sort of maybe you have like 10 8 of clubs where you turn an up and down straight draw and a club plus draw, something like that where you have a combo draw. If, if your plan there is to just like rip it in and try to win with your 10 high or something, or perhaps improve to the best hand if your opponent does lift you up, um, I mean, that's one one possibility. If you're going to go for the 2x over bet shove, typically you're going to want to be very bolder, so you're going to want to do that with exactly like sets of threes, and then your, you know, your, just your 
flush draws. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny. But probably just you, you don't want to be doing it with all of your flush draws or you won't have the value to back it up. Uh, um, but yeah, there shouldn't be too many hands if you're doing that with. That is, that is probably something I would say. Three players to this flop, and KFC here flops up and down straight draw with a redraw to the nuts. Nine uh, instead, a 10 comes off of the turn, which gives him the best hand. It's Jacob also in there with a 7. Check call 100 on the flop. Check call 200 now on the turn. It's a king. So running top pairs for each player. And let's see if Jacob finds a value bet here. I, I hope he does. I really hope he does. This is a great spot where a bunch of the front door draws have missed. If your opponent has something like 8-9 or, you know, ace-8 or something like that, like they're going to think about calling a big bet here because a bunch of shit just missed. Put in, put in 600, you know? Oh, no. Jacob is just going to check here. I also understand this, but I really would have liked to see it. A big bet of like 600, 500 plus, you know? And then have KFC just like, look at this, and be like, man, I got 10. Like, what, what do you have? You bet, you bet three streets? Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Might look you up, but not to be. Always helps when I can see the cards. And I'm like, dude, if you go for a big bet, you might get <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something certainly to uh, <laughs> I also do think that when you improve to the top pair on the river, especially after taking a bet bet line on flop and turn, that uh, you can you can you know go for some big sizes, and your, your opponents are going to be put in some tricky spots with their one pair. You'll have to make that your name on the live stream one day, Colonel. Five calls. All right, we got some uh, some limping. And Jacob now gonna squeeze it up from the straddle. One hundred to go. Small small squeeze here. Not even really qualifying as a squeeze, but it is gonna get D time to pull out his nine six equity. <laughs> it's just gonna go heads up between Jacob and Josh. And wow, what a flop. Up and down, straight draw for Josh. Two overs and a diamonds for Jacob. See that for half pot. Josh here, lining up. He at least a call. And it is. Five of diamonds, there we go, right on the turn. Jacob improves to the king high flush. <laughs> Josh now drawing dead. See if Jacob plays this one tricky trappy. He can certainly check here. He does. Josh checks behind. Really does not want to improve. No six, no jack. Unless he uh, pays some more money as a king. And Jacob here should go for some value against like a nine. Can't go too big. Scare your opponent off. 50. Yeah, 250. There we go. Of course, we know that Josh doesn't have a time. He decides to turn his hand into a bluff, but that is a little bit out of the MO. So he does quickly fold his unimproved hand, and Jacob is going to ship with in the middle. Josh up the most. Over 1,000. <coughs> All right, $25 straddle is off. Sato under the gun here with a couple of red jacks. Make this 75 to go and optimize with number one. 3x to 
two and a quarter. Quick fold from the rest of the table. And this is under the gun and then under the gun two? No, no, KFC. Um, or, uh, sorry, uh, other gentleman in the one seat in between. So it's just going to make the call. But, yeah, this is a pretty strong raise against the under the gun open. Comes ace high. Top set here for Optimize. Masato in the basement with 3% equity. He's running diamonds or running jacks. Optimize here going to see that for just about one third pot, 30%. Masato will make the call. It's a nine up the club. That is not the card Masato was looking for, but actually it was optimized here now. 800 in the middle. Now you start sizing up, but you have top set. Like your opponent can't really have that much. Like every once in a while, they are going to have the last ace in the deck, but. Yeah, usually you're just going to want to keep this small, go for another half pot size. He's going to go for 500, and that's just a little bit too big for Masato to continue and optimize. We'll just make a tidy little 400 there, though. Uh, it's a oh, you love flopping sets, but flopping sets of aces. Always kind of tricky to get paid. Thank you. Your pocket just really has to be cooler, you know? <laughs> Certainly had that happen from time to time. Off top set of aces, and then all of a sudden your opponent just like check raises you, and you're like, oh, this is lovely. I don't know what you have, but uh, I, guess, I guess you've really got something. Is that here? Nine, seven of hearts. Pretty hand, but he's just going to fold that under the gun. A lot of players are going to open that. Especially at a table where people have been playing relatively snug. I think you can mix some of this stuff in there. But wow, we're just going to see a flop heads up between Optimize and KFC. Players with pocket pair. Good looking board here for Optimize. But half pot. KFC may decide to peel one off here, keep his opponent honest, and does have some backdoor opportunities. Does make the call. King of Diamonds now on the turn. Not a good card for KFC. Optimize here, of course, now with just the third pair. Doesn't benefit a ton from betting, so he'll check. If the I suspect this one's going to check it back and hope to get to showdown with the pot as is. And it clubs now on to the turn, get another overcard of KFC. Once again, I think Optimize doesn't really benefit a ton from betting. If he made it super small, he could maybe get an 8 to hero him or something every once in a while. But yeah, it's very standard check check here. Optimize will take this down for a pair of 10. Straddle, optimize here first act. He's not a believer in the Queen Dukes. D time though, he's gonna limp his 10-9. Josh will stick around. 8-7 suited. Four high, no good for Masato, and Tibet just take a free flop. It's an 11. Ace-Queen 
five, couple of diamonds. Nobody hits this at all. Far from it, and everybody checks. Seven now on the turn, improving Josh with the third pair. They gotta win now. He's gonna take a stab at this, 75 to go. Nobody has anything really to do with the time. And, uh, not even a gut shot there. <coughs> the throwbacks. All right, hand number 35 on the books. You'll see it in a second. Skullbone rolling a one, there my goodness. Go. Single digits coming out now. Please get in the box. I like that. I like that move. Wonder if it was planned. I think I still have to wait a few more minutes until I can gamble again. You guys are getting all the bad stuff out of the way once again. Something to get some bats rattled. the aggression frequency optimized here. The most aggressive player, KFC, not too far behind. Not last night. Now they did not. I turned the game off after my bet. Once, once they were up 5-0, I was like, well, I'm not winning this game. I'm not, they're not coming back from 5-0 again. All right, Josh <laughs> here, true to form, limping his butt. He's king. How many pitchers in this time? So four, that will four come in with the king yeah, nine and optimize ace four. So he does keep both of his yeah, opponents in here let a guy, let the guy go till with dominated guy. hands, and it comes king high with a couple of eights out, as well. <laughs> Pretty ingenious. I mean, total team. So but once the first guy's pulled, the other guy's just up to pull too. Yeah. Only the, only, the first guy's the only one that has the right to bitch. How many innings did he go for, uh, prior to the second? Checks through to the turn. Josh now betting seven of diamond. Good bet. Will make the call. Again, once it was 5-0, I was Here we go. Six of spades on the end. Let's see how big Josh goes this time. Yeah. I don't. I just don't like Devet is actually going to lead at this for pot. And quick call from Josh, not not even contemplating a raise, which which is understandable. Like if your opponent has an eight or some sort of backed into straight or just a busted club draw, like putting more money in the pot is just not uh, not the right move. So he does make the snap call and shifts the pot. So yeah, let's go. We want to thank you guys all for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, which will keep you informed of all of our future broadcasts and allow you to interact in the chat, earn yourself some TCH Live loyalty points, which can be used mostly just for fun. But also, we do some drawings from time to time where you can earn yourself some sweet TCH Live merchandise as well as even... Some, uh, some other sweet goodies. We've done drawings for the cruise. We've done drawings for, uh, uh, I guess, mostly for merchandise. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's just a fun way to pass the time while we're in between hands and such. Tokyo, trying to gamble. Okay. Let's see how people are doing in there in the chat. Please <coughs> do consider hitting subscribe to the TCH Live community. All right, King Six Seven Trey here. Battle of. Big hands. KFC though. Popping yeah, third pair here on the turn. Josh does have a gut shot. And double check his hand. He's like, ah, for 75, not worth it. And KFC will just take that one down. All right. Thursday night football underway. And Damian Pierce and the Texans already in the red zone. Go through a lot of change. Yeah, it is. I live like a lot of hands going to showdown here. I get the whole life. The bet going to showdown over 50% of the hands. It's like 15 years old. D time here going to wake up with Ace King in the straddle when it gets over to him. Josh is going to limp Masato. Go ahead and raise this up with pocket seven. AFC here with one gap from the big one. 
usually if you're going to go for a big squeeze, you want some sort of high card value, but you can mix stuff like get this in every once in a while, and he is going to go for it. 75 is the raise here from KFC. And now D time. This is the, this is the question mark. This is an open pot and a three bet in front of him. And a three bet from the blind. How do you play ace king here? You can certainly see from the cards that if he just goes ahead and rips it all in, he is going to get that one through. But instead, he's just going to fold it and stay out of harm's way. Masato will make the call. And here we go. Heads up between these two players. 9-7 and pocket sevens. Comes ace high, of course, just to uh, rub a little bit of salt, dirt, and other such accoutrements into the wound. For tea time. And KFC here as the three better free. Yeah, he just gets the bet and takes this, da this down. I mean, well played there by KFC. The fact that he got that through against an ace king is sort of amazing, but really just uh, executing the, the aggression sort of to uh, pinpoint accuracy there. Yeah, still, still. <laughs> Love to see those plays. Yeah, and very always so interesting to see how people play ace king in these big spots. A lot of people um, are just going to rip it there. Some people are going to call, which I think is sort of the worst of the option, right? Like, if you if you really do just, like, put the action, like, on your uh, opponents of, like, no, th this just hasn't been happening. We haven't been seeing a bunch of three betting. We haven't seen this kind of action. Like, my opponents are just going to have a, a hand range that is just super strong. And Ace King, like, I just don't feel like I have to get involved here. Okay, but calling feels like pretty weak. Certainly, al like allow your opponents behind to just like shove. And if your opponent, if your plan is to sort of call and then call off, like okay, so be it. But yeah, I think uh, I think the raise would have been perhaps a little bit more standard there. Like All right, here we are on to the next hand. Optimize versus Jacob. Both players with a nine. Not a whole lot interacting with this board, though. And Jacob will just go for the check and the fold. All right, my turn to uh, try to spin up some more TCH Live loyalty points and see if I can find some. Out there in the streets, and I can another win. All right, I'm up to three wins on the night. Yes, it's funny because I actually I'm not a chocolate lover, like for sure not. That's not like my yeah, that's not my go-to. All right, Masato here. I mean, first to act, he's back off. Nine will come in for the raise. Uh, I've been on like a one fold, two fold. KFC on the ace-10 like on the button. Yeah, I like the call here. Jacob yep. will get out of the way. Josh here. Beck will defend a lot of different hands. So ace-5 suited. Pretty good one, actually. So three players with an ace. That's right, Skullbone. You guys need the landmines, and I'll just take the goodies. Really All right, comes King High. Chicken, no pairs for Life. any player. <laughs> check, check over to KFC. He <laughs> will take the like return card. I would like to dinner, like cooking dinner for those like eight months. Also, still best. Like the ace jack high. Not, not, not eight months because the first few months wasn't like that. So. Once again, check, check over to KFC. And yeah, he's like, okay, I can, I can get some better hands to fold here. Pocket threes, pocket fours aren't going to want to continue. Ace jack, not going to want to continue. And indeed, just a little tickle of the pot, take it down. 
for KFC. And yeah, I can safely say that oh, from what we've seen here, KFC is certainly going to be the player most inclined to bluff and take down pots that aren't necessarily his. Whereas we've seen uh, certainly play from Josh, where it's kind of like if he doesn't have the hand, he's not going to bet it. And that's really important information for the other players at the table if they're if they're really picking up on that. Of course, they don't see every hand face up like we do, but you know you can certainly get an idea of what your opponents are up to. You pay attention to tips here, Josh. Eighty percent playing a ton of hands here. That's certainly something that people have picked up on. I can guarantee you that. A couple of deuces here, KFC. And it raises up. King six of diamonds in the muff. Not a big fold by any standard, but uh, Masato is a believer in the nine triz. Let's go. Does make the call. Here we go. Three players to a flop. Got him. And there is a three out there. Sato out kicked by John. Checks all the way through. Oh, I think it's really good. Space. players rolling a dime. And Josh here is going to bet his three. And that's the best hand. I'm just going to take this down. So are you just a comic Phillies fan or were you always a Phillies fan? Well, it became a Phillies fan. Okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah, I get it. Skullbone smoking for 40 years and now 24 days off the juice. Nice, man. Congratulations. Hope you are able to stick with it and kick that habit for good. Man. I uh, smoked just for a little bit during the height of the pandemic when, like, <laughs> Everybody was like terrified to see another human being, and we all had to stand in lines outside of the stupid grocery store and shit. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty stressful time. Picked up uh, smoking a few cigarettes here and there, and uh, quite happy to say that I have uh, kicked that habit for well over a year now, I think. Yeah, every once in a while, I kind of feel like, oh, I could go for a cigarette right now. And then the few times that I have allowed myself to have one, which is particularly in one spot, like after I make a final table in a big tournament, I allow myself to have one cigarette if I want one. And um, the last time, I even like forgot that I had made a final table. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm out at the bar, hanging out with my friend. Oh, oh kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> Now I just smell and mouth tastes like shit. Yeah, it's good. Like once once you're far enough removed from smoking regularly, where it's just sort of a way of life and you're so used to the smell and the taste that it, it just doesn't bother you. Once you're far enough removed from that, reminding yourself of it can be just like a good uh, moment of just like, oh yeah, there's a reason why I quit doing this. But you got to make sure you're you're far enough removed, otherwise the uh, <laughs> the gremlin in the back of your brain will be like, oh, this is nice. We should do this again. All right, we are going to get a squeeze here. Masato nine eight suited, putting the hammer down. FC here in the fifty dollars straddle, not going to defend. Josh though on the button, suited ace. He's not going anywhere. I like this play from Masato. He's going to need to navigate a flop out of position, and his opponent has flopped the nut flush draw. Masato with absolutely nothing. Does he go for the zero equity bluff? He does not. He just checked. And Josh, the, the speed with which he reached for chips and the amount, 375, nothing doing there for Masato. He is just going to quickly head to the exit. All right, these are some great stories here in the chat uh, about how long people smoked and how long they've been away from it. So, good job, guys. Hand number 44 coming at you. 
KFC will not double down. Josh has blackjack. He'll limp with it. I didn't realize Houston scored. Oh my goodness, Gold. Oh, did I see that? Just go deep on, his, on the that first. One hell of a score. KFC had another 8 3. Just gets to check and see a flop. And uh, check, check over to an ace of clubs now on the turn. KFC is like, I don't know. You limp. You could have all kinds of crap. I'll just take a stab at this. But Josh quickly calls KFC now, especially improving to a pair of both eights now on the end. It's just going to check it over. Josh will start betting for value. I think KFC can get away from this, but front door hearts missed. The river did also improve KFC. Yeah, he's going to need to think about this for a second. Small bet to two thirds here on the end. Do you have a name to check out? Aurora. Aurora, nice. Yeah, he's going to get away from it. Yeah, that's why. Is that why you had that name? Yeah, you checked out. We have Everybody. a girl named the guy. We have a girl. Like, the girl name was easy. Dave Boxer, two months clean. Nice, dude. Like, Congrats. we had our boy name, like, completely picked. Like, that right was the easy one. That's what we wanted. Oh, you wanted it? Okay. Yeah, and then we found out it was. Well, the welcome girl back, like, yeah. Skull Bone. Yeah. Like, I've yeah. wanted this girl name since I was, like, a child. So I'm glad. Yeah, like, if you have something like that, like, unless, friend. like, you, the other person hates it, you kind of got to give them All right, right. looking at those V Pips D time down at 10%. So, like, to bet, my wife about 13%. So yeah, I mean, he and really I likes pay, I, and I a couple of players not seeing the cards so they want to see in order to uh, get in the mix. Are there cards on this one? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Seven folds is okay. Eight folds, nine folds, one folds. We just can't pick a middle name to save our lives. Nice, grandkid coming on in January. Excellent. Yeah, I'm to look forward to. Maybe a family name. Name. All right, Optimize is going to okay. raise this up to 100. Josh here had limped for 25, 9, 8, off, and is going to take a flop <laughs> in position. So Optimize here, if it was a girl, it was going to be uh, the first name of her. Uh, Five high board, no diamond. Pretty tough spot to start betting. And yeah, if he does, this is probably just going to be a one and done. But I've certainly seen people uh, be willing to take these zero equity bluffs in multiple streets. He doesn't have to, thankfully for him, as uh, his opponent will just get out of the way. Thank you. All right, let's take a peek uh, so over at the football Jerry. game. So we were going to name him Jira, so it looks like the Eagles now yeah. have and the ball. The name was be and <coughs> moving it into the red zone. <coughs> Damian Pierce here on 23 rushing yards. Somebody other than he scored like a touchdown <laughs> on opening drive. Jalen Hurts here already slinging the ball around, 71 pounds in yards. She said they're having a hard time with the middle man. All right, a couple of jacks here, a couple of Joshes. Josh is going to call 25 bucks. Optimize the queen jack, he'll lift from the button. And D time is in there as well. Jacob's like, all right, cool, let's see a flop. 10, six. Queen 10, 8. Check, Top pair for Optimize. Second pair for Jacob. And Josh. Effective second pair and a gutty. D time also has a gutty to the nuts. But he's out of there. Optimize raises to a over the initial bet of 25 from Josh. Sorry, kind of like Josh, with the gut shot, is going to bet and call the raise. Five of spades changes nothing. I suspect this goes check, check now. Optimize could bet again.
but um, the, the bet would really only be in order to maintain the betting lead so that you don't have a natural check to him on the river. Yeah. What, what, what was it? What Interesting. Josh looks like he's lining up a bet. He does grab a fistful of greens and fire them across the line. 175 for two-thirds size here with just second pair. And yeah, I think Optimize here has a pretty standard bluff catch. I mean, it's possible your opponent could like value on themselves with like a queen nine, right? I mean, kind of tough to think of a hand that really wants to bet this for value, this amount for value, but you know, yeah. Optimize finds the call, turns over the queen jack, and shifts the pot. Yeah, I think that's sort of um, a textbook case of just having a good hand, like a good pre-flop hand, and then trying to win with it, as Josh there. CD time is uh, ready to go to Taco Bell. Up five bucks on the evening. So bright. So bright. Yeah, bright. Yeah, it's like, it has like kind of a bingo hall vibe. Like, like why I don't go there that often. But I like bright. You like bright? Like, yeah. uh, I don't like it that bright. I like it more. High school. I don't want it dark. But but I don't <laughs> want it like. Yeah, there you go. Thank high you. school <laughs> cafeteria. Yeah, like, like, yeah. It's just like I don't know. That's fun. Yeah. I. It's so like, bright. It's like we're. I don't know. I wish. I wish there were more personality. Thank you. Optimize here. I played the stream over there too. I mean. I like, I like 75 to go. KFC next to act and on the button. See if he raises this. He does. A little over 3x once again, similar to previous encounter between these two players. And Josh in the straddle. A couple of sixes. Got the set of threes. Got the full double up earlier against Ace Jack. Let's see if he wants to take a flop. Play this one out of position. Sixes. Yes, indeed, Yanni. Uh, Josh he, uh, made a big hand against his neighbor, Jacob, there in the red. Flopped the bottom set of threes, and uh, Jacob looked him up for an all-in wager. Josh does indeed make the call. Optimize comes along as well. players to a flop. Couple of spades out there for Optimize. Bottom pair for KFC. Yeah, the tattoo, it is a key from a uh, video game. Where? Give it up for you to do some uh, sleuthing to figure out what uh, video game that might be. Checks all the way through. Ten of clubs down the turn, giving Optimize a gut shot to Broadway. Along with his front door spade drop. Josh here has the best hand at the moment with a couple of sixes. You don't like it? What else? Optimize you takes the pre or takes the flop passive bitty. Yeah. to start betting. He will. And people is not so friendly. Really? You know what? Actually, last time I was there, small. you're right. Yeah. So last time I was there. Yeah, was I know it's May. not every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're. Yeah. It's like at the draw sometimes yeah, with people, yeah, but, but yeah. last time I was there, you are correct. Yeah, I did have some like yeah, attitude. Yeah. Man in the middle, like, facing the faction. Yeah, 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 like I feel like the community is. Like, Josh with no way to improve his hand other right. than no, I, 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 I could see that vibe. Yeah. That isn't a six of yeah. spades. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, he's gonna let his go as well, and Optimize will take that down with just the ace high. He'll turn it over and be like, I mean, this was a pretty good hand, right? It's pretty good. And both of his opponents will be like, yeah. I could beat that, but I wasn't going to try. Me too. <laughs> D-Time lost his Taco Bell money. He is now bang on even for the evening. Jacob still stuck the most down 2K. Optimized up oh, just about the exact same amount. 2K. Okay. Okay. I don't think I can beat the race. Oh, it's pretty high? Okay. Crazy good. Oh, high. Yeah, they're all private games, right? Yeah. All right, rushing touchdown scored by Miles Sanders. 10%? 10%? 10%. That's crazy. That's good for me, and uh, apparently not good. 
or something. Up to 50. Man, like 25, I could like live with. Man, no shit. I gotta pay that. Is it is it is it dangerous? It's always funny how uh, when. People have different players on fantasy football teams and such, like, just the mention of... Uh, Man, I, like, I, again, I don't know where I, I wasn't looking at the right place. Higher up, but I went you know, last like, Mal across the way in the production booth, yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. like, huh? Oh. I could not. <laughs> Here's this groan. Find a game. Well, we know who she's playing. Well, like, I was, like, All right, Ace around, Queen like, versus King Jack versus like, King High. Well, just some chat rooms and different things like that. that. I was trying to get someone to, like, let me in. I was, like, Optimizer sending them, like, cloth, betting YouTube clips of me on streams, like, my license. And, come out and like, continue. and they just, like, wouldn't respond to me, like, to go. I was, like, I guess I need someone to vouch for me. Fairly standard check call. Need somebody from local. Yeah, 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 someone local. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jack Kicker, I have I, one of my reps. Firing enough to go for uh, check I'm raise. Give me a sale that and and both of these players are quite, pardon me, quite deep. You'll have to vouch for me. Respect <laughs> for check call. No, no I'm only going to go for He time. is going to go for the What's check that? raise with the top. I ended up not finding a game oh, last time I was there. So Find I'm going back that right now. Hit me up. All right. All right. All right, before we go, we'll exchange go. information. Um, I'm staying. Yeah, check raising top pair I'm staying. I'm staying near makes a lot of center. sense in a lot of spots. Um, I really and I am Java not center, nearly but... as like studied oh, at the super deep stack spot. I think it's in Manhattan. Both players well over 100 big blinds. I could be the right. effective stack there with Sato at like 100. It feels like, like big blinds they never or something like that. Like, check raising King Jack at a high frequency. Yeah, yeah why do you cheat yeah. at the rate? Really yeah, I don't think it's so um, To me, it feels a little bit safer than right. But that's true. Check raising with top pair is going to be a good Like, I hope there's like arm security for that kind of rate. Yeah, they take like and of course, a, I'm always like talking from the perspective of like, what would a call like, say? You're going to walk me to my Uber yeah, for that price? Like, <laughs> well, they, yeah, they come to Uber. They, <laughs> they comp your Uber? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they comp yeah. Uber. Oh, they comp yeah. my Uber? Okay. All right, we're getting warmer. The Uber is at your house. They're probably taking the app from the Uber. They have a nice eye candy. Did you hear that? Perhaps he thought he was free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, so how many points are open from off by you, you guess? I, I don't know. Over there with the as far as I know, I know like more than 10 games. Wow. high board yeah. here. Really? Or as Josh. far as I know, like from lower to like higher stage. Yeah. One Definitely diamond and one seven here for Optimize. So he does have some backdoor opportunities. Is it 100 plus a day? Certainly a spot where he can like bet and then fold is it if his opponent raises him. If he yeah, bets and gets called, okay. <laughs> there are some turn cards that could give him additional equity where he can continue to tell a story. Does go for a bet, does get called. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Is, is it never a case of Optimized arrested by playing poker in New York? Yeah. But, but he doesn't even get sometimes, an opportunity well, it's too risky. to continue telling the story as Josh will go for the dog lead here on the two. Okay. On the turn, okay. see how Optimize responds so now. Is he just going to call and realize the equity he is? It's a diamond and finds it, and it's the worst diamond in the deck for Josh. It's the king of diamonds. Now he has top trips with almost 800 in the middle. Optimize now improving to the eight high flush, and Josh here is going to go for value. It's got to be close. Snap. It's close by all the play. Yeah, 475 here. I don't think Optimize is going to raise him. He could. This is like a half pot sizing. He actually could raise him, but yeah, I think he just Yeah, yeah, just real quick hit around. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, he does. He just makes the call, shows the eight and the five of diamonds. Josh probably can't quite believe his misfortune. He was very far ahead on both the flop and the turn. All right, looking at the earnings there once again. Yeah, Optimize now up over. Actually, that's the Josh taking a bit of a hit there. Now only up to 600 yeah. on the night. Yeah. Yeah. Young guys unattached. How long is it going? 
I went there like three years ago. Okay. I want okay. to stay there for sure. Okay. But there's still clothes there. Yeah. Like South Times Square area, like Manhattan is where I'm staying. Okay. All right, twenty-five dollars straddle is. Uh, I'll look at the address just, here. I saw that it's. We'll be playing it. Yeah. I, saw, I, I know where the hotel is now. I have a juice there. I'm looking at the time. Like, Don't go with the game. Or okay. like for a raise with that. Josh, though, ten six off two. Asian, Chinese. Will make the limp on the button, and Defat here has seen that game plenty of times. A squeeze yeah, with the nines and optimized queen jack suited will quickly yeah. make the call, which brings Josh along as well. Here we go, three players. Sometimes there is like two a flop. Yeah. They just brought like 30k, 40k, and dump it. Because they lost like 400 million dollars already. Eight, seven, deuce. Yeah. The seven deuce would have gotten there for D time. Devet here. Not loving this flop, but at the same time. Is facing a limp from the player behind him and a cold call from the player in front. Not a ton of aces in the late frame. So it goes just bet and get that one through. Well, so there's $50 mix, uh, and what's the buying matter? Yeah, sometimes it can go big. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes you can go big. I'm getting looking at the aggression for the bet now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Up there, above, off. Yeah, yeah. leading the pack. You know, home games, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And number 51. Hey, you, you can beat the, like, uh, high, 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 high. But it's hard to beat that. It's crazy. Santa will open, but Queen 8 suited. AFC here, suited, happy meal. Make the call. Josh is in there as well. So three players to swap, middle of the deck, heavily represented. Eight high, all diamond. Josh here, the only player with a diamond, also does have a gut shot. Another ace on the turn after checking through. Checks through once again. Free river card. It's another diamond. Josh improves to the 10 high flush. And he's going to bet. It's about 400 in the middle. He'll bet 175 and no takers. Oh, yeah, like, no, like I said, like uh, the. All of the regular in Macau is very strong. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of, you know, the best poker players in the yeah. world. But They're like, like machines. Yes. Yeah. But, like, you know, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, uh, suddenly, like, random fish is coming to the game. And, you know, uh, so they are just waiting Frank, for, like, that was, uh, for, like, an hour. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sheer rules. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kind All of right, here we go. Yeah. Looking at the, uh, <laughs> the player first to raise. <laughs> D time still at zero percent. Jacob here is going to take his turn at limping. And Josh, if he had the jack of clubs, I could understand it. But the jack of spades, I don't know. There is nothing to do. He's not a blocker. He's going to make the call, though. Absolutely nothing. KFC will limp as well. D time it's waking up with a couple of Josh's, a couple of Jacobs. It's very small city. Jack. Yeah, completely nothing. Uh, raise here only makes it 150, though. Doesn't want to make it so big yeah, that he doesn't get any takers, but at the same time, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you have this many yeah. players trying to limp into a Maybe pot. You, like you want to make it large enough I'm in the worst to get, <laughs> you know, sort of the first player to fold so that the second player will fold or whatever. You really want to whittle it down. If you get the first player to call and everybody will call behind, now pocket jack yeah, is like tough I time say winning like the hand. As it stands, he does get the job done, and that is a win right there. Taking the pot down, three flop. <coughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I, 
And there we go, D-Time ready to go back to Taco Bell this time for a couple of big orders. I like it. Get one of those uh, big boxes of tacos with 80 bucks. And they don't allow foam. Yeah. You gotta, like this. All right, raise first in here. Yeah, it used to be okay. You can't stream, you can't stream. 2% now. It used to be okay, like, yeah. 7 inches. D-Time. They changed the rules. I wonder why. I wonder why that's really All right, folds over to Devet here. Ten seven suited. He'll open from the cutoff. And no takers. Everyone will just pull it out of the way. Most of you do it like pop. Half of the people are going. Yes. 100, 200. Yeah. And 51 is okay. Yeah. 300, 600 is very good. from the hijack. A little too far down on the range for him. Let that go. Good time here. The ladies. Only a 3x raise here, but uh, he has not raised a lot of pots, so this is going to look pretty strong. AFC has a hand that can crack some Crack some big hands. He is going to make the call, play this one in position. There's a couple of spades and a five and a six. My goodness, how much better can you flop with four three other than just flopping the goods? B time here with the over pair, and KFC has got to know that this is a big hand for his opponent. Really hasn't been aggressive at all. Now kind of out of the blue and betting a sizable chunk of his stack. And KFC is going to be happy to just get all the chips in here. He says, I got a combo draw. You got an overpair? Let's just go for it. Sure enough, D-Time's all in with the overpair of Queens. KFC makes the call. And we're going to run it two times. Here we go. Deuce for the straight immediately wins the first board here for KFC. Second board, Queen still holding. Needs to dodge a lot of outs and does. And here we go, chop it up. Three, four of spades, run it one time, would have gotten the job done. But run it twice and Queens will keep half the pot. All right, so these players are gonna pull back their their last wagers. Carly chops up the rest of the pot. And then both players, after getting thousands of dollars in, win fifteen and twenty dollars respectively. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, sure. I don't remember the last oh, time the I came for this stack. I have like five pairs of ones, but they're not the most comfortable. No. Alright, bet here first to act, I imagine. <laughs> he did it too. It's just <laughs> <laughs> My first loss of the <laughs> night. Making a 32. Texans and Eagles are tied 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, optimize raising it up. 75 to go. Stop though. Yes, sorry. Suited ace 5. Let's see if he re raises. And he will. 9 raise to 350. 350. And a quick hold here from optimize. Nice play. 
<laughs> you always love raising in a big spot. I mean, that was just a single raise pot, but like you're out of position, so you got to put a lot of chips in with the ace five. But it's always such a great feeling when you raise with the ace five and get the fold. It, just, it kind of feels like you've unlocked an achievement. Yeah, it's like a little badge that you get to put on. You're like, yeah, I, I, I did the thing. I raised with the, uh, the, the ace five oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. suited, and everybody played it. it was, I have a big shoe collection, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Remember, I did that in the like spot against uh, 40 Gordon. Gordon's probably. Man, Gordon out there. 60 something like and, that. Uh, the four bet all I in. I and I was like, please don't call, please don't call. Like, please don't snap call you. Know? So I put all the money in, and he kind of um, rolled his eyes and musk, and I was like, yeah, right. we got him. <laughs> uh, I wear them. I mean, oh, I'm man. like, what up? You know, maybe pass them on to my kids. It's always pretty but nasty when you get looked up, though. Oh, yeah. Just like snap you off. It's like that in pocket kings or whatever. You're like, well. That's what we need to hit. I don't like to pay over retail very often, but I will. All right, race to 100 from D time. Josh will make the call from the small blind. A couple of plot, a couple of like five, five of the, uh, words are hard. New pennies. I had to pay Nine, to seven, four. Pretty good swap but here for have. Josh, like all favorite. things considered. And D time, not going to take a stab at this. He'll take a free turn. Three of diamonds giving. Josh, a gut oh, shot. Like oh, uh, the there. threes are my favorite. Three? And I Josh like is just going to hammer this for his thunder like pop the, and take it down. The, one the, huh? the 11, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Play, you used to play a lot of basketball? Yeah. 11. Yeah, 11 right, let's take a peek yeah, I wouldn't play basketball. Fantasy this week. Football. Uh, uh, I would not, you know, I just like it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Rushing with the touchdown. Um, some of the new ones now up to 34 um, rushing are, 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 yards. Would be no good for basketball, like the 35, 36, 37. Um, passing. I have one. I have a couple of each of those. So like I have to take them. Too bad. Um, take a peek at I'll wear those. Other league. Oh, I don't even have anybody playing it. I, I got the Lucas. Those. Oh are no. Really besides cool. the of course. Those are the 36s. Um, those are super comfortable. Lightweight as hell. I like the fours a lot too, but I wouldn't want to play basketball in the All right, D time here on a mini rush of cards, but this time he's not going to raise. Just going to limp the ace queen. Jacob will follow suit. Josh is in there with the, the 10 deuce. Pretty else out of the way. And optimize here when it limps to him. Is he going to squeeze this 8 4 off? He is. There's like no chance you guys have anything. 185. And D time is like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Optimize. Doing an internal eye roll at this point. 15 minutes in the past, anyways. 185. And Jacob now getting a little bit of a price on a set line and stuff. So feeling like, yeah, there's a chance I could find a set here and get my money back. Josh, of course, <laughs> can't stand the raise. Even with all these other players calling, he's like, no, I got, I got a shitty hand. This is no good. Watch Bob come like 10 10. Deuce. Uh, Jack Jack 4, pretty close. Oh man, where's the blocker hand at this point? Jack 4 is super good. Optimize does flop 2 pair though, and the best hand. And he has the pre flop betting lead with that squeeze action. He's going to bet. Under half pot here. This is a good size. These queens out of the way. Jacob now. It's actually not that bad of a flop. He beats ace king. Ace queen. King queen. Things of that nature. Here's a king now on the turn. Optimize. Probably got to be feeling a little bit uneasy about this. Let's see if he keeps betting or if he slows down. He does check it over. And Jacob probably like that. But the king is just such a scary card. It's just oh, so often that the opponent's gonna have like ace king that just improved. But he's gonna bet one third pot anyways. Your opponent checking the king really does not indicate it's their cap at all. You very much have a king that is now going to go for pot control in case your opponent, his opponent, has like a jack or something. See here, optimized facing this tiny little size. This this also almost feels like he's getting milked, and yeah, he's gonna fold the best hand. You wanna see it? 
Optimize here is doing a fantastic job of getting the cards shown to him on the pots that he's lost. He's got to turn over the keys earlier now. Table talk is able to get Jacob to show the Jesus. This is for your baby. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Good luck. All right, Ms. Carly is going to take a step out of the box. Jesse is going to take a step in. Top of the hour, halfway through the broadcast, and Jesse will get us going on it. Really hard. Five dollar oh, right there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesse did his best to break the headset. Sure. What's yeah, yeah, exactly. Prepare except that one. And the pocket freeze you called with is better. So what yeah. Am I, what am I actually? Yeah, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> a bit over 300 of you fine folks hanging out with us here in the chat. If you haven't had an opportunity to strike the like button yet, we would appreciate it. Those help us get this program out to more viewers. And of course, if this is your first time tuning in, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell to let you know when we are live in the future. Oh, yeah. Broadcasting from 6 to 10 p.m. Central Time out of Austin on Mondays and Thursdays and out of TCH Dallas on Tuesday and Wednesday. Four days a week for live cash game action. Then we've got the final table tournament action. Just like sleeping in the morning for my wife gets out of there from now well. So all the poker you can handle here at TCH Live. All right, first board, all clubs yeah. and all low cards. Second board, back high, a couple of spades. The set here for KFC. He's going to bet 500 with that. Top pair, top kicker on bottom as well, but not the most inspiring hand. A couple of callers here. Go three ways to a turn. Jack of Diamonds, 10 of hearts. Flop nut flush here for Josh. Doesn't raise. Has just a pair of threes on bottom. So, sort of understandable. It's loading the pot when you only have half of the pot sort of locked up, and that can always change. Sato also flopping a flush, a clean high flush. And on bottom, turns the jack high straight. Is there any cap for the bump out or not? No cap. No cap. No caps on the bomb pots here at TCH Austin. Josh here does bet the pot for 475. Thank you. And Masato with. Flush and straight is going to win for a raise. We'll repot 1.9k. KFC here with just a set of five and one pair on bottom. I mean, his hand, his hand really can't continue. Honestly, I think that even just a pot size wager, the original pot size wager, he wouldn't be able to do anything. Josh is going to put the rest of the money in. And this is going to be a chop. There is no way for Josh to improve to a better hand on bottom, and no way for Masato to improve to a better hand on top. So choppy, choppy. Oh, Masato had the queen high, the, the, the nut straight on bottom as well. I don't even know what it is. I was not afraid you had like, uh, so. like uh, any leader of <laughs> There we go, chop it up. Each player got uh, just about four thousand dollars in and won just over a hundred. That is how yellow bomb pots work. <laughs> it can be very stressful, especially when you get it all in and you're in a spot where your opponent has like three percent equity. There's like one card that can come to give them the straight flush or whatever the hell it is that they need. And sure enough, thought you were winning a hundred dollars like every time, and instead you lost four. Sorry. I didn't think I did. You're right there. 
XY says preflop ace king fold LOL. I guess XY must be hanging out in the past. <laughs> Going all the way back to that uh, hand square D time. Fold it to ace king to the uh, three bet. I don't think anybody else has folded ace king. Certainly not that I have. Noticed. Take a look at the earnings. Optimize still holding down the port at the top. Over 2K in the positive. Josh up just under 1,000. KFC now. Cannot be going to talk of them. Down five bucks. Gotta make, gotta make sacrifices, you know? I will not be making sacrifices tonight. Taco Bell is most assuredly on the menu. D time here, suited ace jack with limpers to him. Gonna squeeze this to 150. And this will get the job done. Mike Parkus, keep checking those points and chatting away, and you will get yourself up to 10 TCH Live loyalty points before you know it. And then you'll do some gambling of your own. <laughs> Jacob here, who just looked out 6 3 suited last hand. Bunch of folds over to KFC. Eight, four of diamonds. He is going to open it. <laughs> he sort of thought about it for a minute. He's like, Ugh, this doesn't feel good. But he's going to get it through. And he'll show it as well. He'll be like, yeah, I had you. <laughs> it always feels good to win with eight high. If it was like my choice to straddle, like it was like I put it out there. If it wasn't the mandatory, I'd be like, yeah, now I'd be like, I feel obligated to defend it. It's a little easier to let go of it when it's at the mandatory. Okay. All right, looking at the B pips, Jacob. Yeah, exactly. And the vet. That's why I looked down at it. At or below the Lottie <laughs> line. Josh up at 75% still, playing a ton of hand. Although he has gone a little bit more quiet as of late. Was cool. There you go. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm 36. Optimize is not afraid of the student 2-gapper from the cutoff. Is that older or young? He'll raise that up 75. D-time makes the call from the small blind, and Jacob now in the big with ace, king of hearts. Squeeze time, but small squeeze. This is just like one of those little pinches. It's sort of like what your grandma does to your cheek. Just a little, little pinch and a shake. Not, not really a squeeze. Like a kind of not nearly enough of a squeeze to get his opponents to fold. As both of them will come along. Queen high board, couple of trays out there. Ace king still in front, but it's just going to check, check over to optimize now. I don't have even playing poker. He has 10 high, but he's just going to check. He's like, nah, it's too good to be true if I bet. When I was 20 years old and I'm 29. Yeah, 9 Five of spades now on the turn. Check checks again, optimize like, okay, I guess. Like, just so what, rep like what is fours or sevens or sixes or something that are just trying to deny equity on big cards. Jacob oh, here yeah, looking yeah, over at him, kind of like, wait, yeah, what? I'm going there. You don't bet the flop, yeah, but you like, bet the five? Why the hell are you betting the five? Yes, Love to see Jacob call here. Case King is actually just going to be like a pretty good hand to continue with in your check check line, but instead he folds. I folded an ace. Optimize, like, what are you doing folding an ace? I got a 10 high. Yeah, it's your tradition. Only Tuesday, or how about like Friday, Saturday? I said 10 high was probably good, but Friday, Saturday, then it was slow. Okay. Well, also Dave Fox up to Problem five TCH Live loyalty points. All right, man. You're how much would I have to call on the, on the, on the river if I, if I... I was betting for value. I was trying to check you. Uh, value. And then we'll, we'll get the collective uh, energy of the chat behind that was you really my first life. roll yeah. to double up your points. Or maybe even, like, triple them up or whatever. I think if you roll a 100 or a 99, you, like, 10x your points that you wagered, something silly like that. 
So there's there's a way to like really hit the jackpot. Of course, anything over 50 is a win. Three players to a flop, 80 bucks in the middle, and exactly. nobody can actually okay if they have like uh, checks through uh, another five game every day, even if like the game is not so good. Like they have 10-10 everything. Yeah, they have 10-10 everything. D time here getting after it. I love this. Let's go. Put your image to work. You are the guy that has not put like hardly any chips into the middle, and he's gonna he's gonna bet, take it down, and show the six high like a boss. Let's go. Yeah, that's why I love Bellagio and. Honestly, what I would say is that um, you know we've seen a little bit of this from KFC that like this table is played very passively. Where you could just kind of like step on the gas a little bit and take a lot of pots that don't belong to you. KFC now up five dollars. He's back at Taco Bell, baby. Let's go. But uh, thirty percent from Optimus he is probably will be with the nine eight off from under the gun. Poker Monkey says uh, 99 or 100 is 5 x there we go. I knew it was greater than 1 x. Like, I, I don't know why they love to play. What is it, uh, what is it that gives you 2 x? Like 98 to 90 or something like that? So I, I know something gives you more than just double your money. Alright, Ace Jack suited here from Devet. I know. Decide what he wants to do. This is a single raise pot and a bunch of callers. Yeah, it's time to squeeze. Get all this riffraff out of here. He does have the best hand at the moment. And KFC with the king queen. This would be a sick, nasty spot to go for. But he is just going to let it go. Understandable. You've got all of these players in there that have shown some interest in the hand. Pretty unlikely that they're sort of trapping a big hand, but Devet could just have it, right? And four betting there could just be forcing a lot of your money. You're already back out of Taco Bell zone just by opening it. Like in my opinion, like the game cannot achieve. Jacob here seemingly with a division, a decision to raise ten off. But I mean, his hand is really not good. He's already just limp. Or sorry, flat at the open. He, he can't really continue without showing. Yeah, maybe you can get the good game. Josh here also just sort of posturing. He's not going to continue. Yeah, most of regular with the game, if like a uh, game is not so good, right? So there we go. I nice believe you, but I didn't have best hand. the best hand. <laughs> I only played it once. Okay. okay. It's terrible. I'm just saying. Yeah. So you need a patient. <sighs> Game is very good, I mean, even if the game is not so good. Like, we have Anchi set up. Miles Sanders and the Eagles back in the red zone. Miles Sanders now up to 54 yards rushing. He's turning it on here in the second period. I love Anchi game and stand up game and things like that, yeah. Two players to a flop optimized with the 8-4 once again, this time the unsuited version. One guy for here for D time and uh, just a 10-5 here for Josh, but he connects with the 10 on the turn. Gives him the best hand. And everybody will bowl. Andrew wants to know, can we see the V-pips again? We will. They sort of cycle through automatically. Do you think folks there are at poker, making it easy for the, uh, yeah. the, the production staff here to sort of take a hands-off approach. The staff will just cycle through regularly. I uh, used to have a little button here that I could push to where I could bring them up myself. But hey, there we go. V-pips for you right now. They have like the bet, the only player under the Lottie line, 15%. The Lottie line, named after our good friend, Mr. Will Lottie. Who is pretty tight. All right, D-Time, I'm going to raise this up. 
and optimize with a suited connector. Give him the business out of the big blind here, says this is a man who doesn't like to be pushed back against. Saw him perhaps, I don't know, I mean, I doubt that uh, Optimus has been getting a lot of information about what has happened earlier, but uh, certainly a, a good time to attack, one might think. He's now running into KFC here from the straddle. East Queen off, and he's gonna come in for a cold four bet. Optimizer's like, oh man, I was gonna get it through that dude, maybe. <laughs> but KFC with the goods. <laughs> and the time to raise to take it down. Nice roll there, Reyna. Yanni here saying Josh has a 75% VPIP exclamation point. Yeah, that's a pretty high VPIP. <laughs> you uh you usually find like the looser, splashier players at around like 50%, but 75%, that is very loose, very splashy. This time he's got a couple of sevens. He's not gonna come in for a limp, he's gonna raise. So five to go. DFC, Jack off. And D time is going to defend with Queen Four off. All right. Three players to a flop. Eight traders. You can flop here for Josh in the pocket seven. He's going to bet Josh about three quarter pot and take it down. Rushing. Damian Pierce now ripping off a big rush there. After the Eagles did manage to get a touchdown, it was not a passing okay. touchdown from Jalen Hurts. Also, not a rushing yeah. touchdown from Miles Sanders. I um, to pull up the. Uh, Oh, Kenneth Gainwell got the rushing touchdown. Why on earth they handed him the ball? That'll be good news for Mel that uh, Miles Sanders didn't get the rushing touchdown. It was Kenneth Gainwell, but uh, Kenneth Gainwell, they're like number two. Yeah, just sort of silly. But yeah, Damian Pierce here approaching 100 yards rushing on the ground. You don't really rush through the air. But, so. All right, here we go. Heads up between D time and optimize to the turn we go on the check check flop. And D time is just going to hammer this for full pot and take down East High Good. <laughs> optimize is going to try to once again get his opponent to tell him what he has. I love this from Optimize. He, so far, he's been batting 100. This time, uh, D time isn't interested in sharing the information, but uh, Optimize has really just been getting all of it here this evening. Pocket tens there for Masato going into the muck as he is not at the table. Ah, right you are. Damian Pierce scoring. Oh, no, I, I just see him in the red zone. Did it say he scored the touchdown, too? Well, he must have. My app has not updated yet. But, uh, Josh, going to win it with the nine triz. Let's go. Red zone. My, 
My app doesn't say they have a touchdown, but Damien Pierce doesn't have one, so maybe he got called back or, or something. Not sure. Uh, let's see here. So Masato and Ita. I'm going to go heads up to a flop here. Single raise pot. A couple of aces and a tray. Checky, checky. To a turn we go. Queen of diamond. Masato with the best hand, but checks again. E time. Gonna take a little tickle at this and show another pseudo flop. <laughs> Actually, no, it just it was a flop. I forgot. The, yes. Uh, Mel over there, psyching me out. <laughs> it was 7-7 seven, seven, like 10 minutes ago in the first, into the first. There we go. Well, that's both good and bad for me, so, you know. All right, Optimize here is going to limp the sixth tray of spades. Call here from Josh. Tibet is just going to check. And three players to a flop, up and down, straight draw. Here for Optimize. Everyone else whips. But Josh comes out leading. He is high. Optimize also working with backdoor spades. Does make the call. King of clubs now on the turn. This is the first time we've seen Josh sort of be aggressive without a hand, but now he checks. Blows it down and Optimize is going to pounce. Fire bet of 85, and I think Josh is going to have to head for the hills here to stay high. And he does, so Optimize will ship it with the 6 high. Kings had this prop bet last night. It was <coughs> combined hits from the Phillies and three-pointers from the 76ers. <laughs> the line, so the Sixers hit 19, oh, so the line was 19. Was under review. Did they have anything for a no-hitter? <laughs> so all miss? they had to do is get one hit, just one hit, not a run, just a hit. Did you bet it? Up no, I didn't. absolutely <laughs> hates NFL football, and any mention of it, I do apologize. But, uh, it's just I like, it intriguing, that's just Especially nuts. when I have lots that of money on my, my fantasy football league. <laughs> Two of them to be uh, Jacob here with Jack Nine of Clubs and in the just one hit. Lead. I got it. Just one, just just one hit. Amazing. So fast. Through Optimize now, working with the Woody two by four. Picks up a gut shot. Yeah, the, the, like that. The line was set that Jacob way. Jacob will yeah. bet with they the best and they Jack High and. But you never would have guessed that the Sixers. All right. What is that? So what is what is you? Play was reversed. Like, That's going to be a scoring yeah, touchdown. Not like the ball. In baseball, we have to hit, hit, hits wise. You have to do one. Bring the game to even 14 all. Yeah. 37 seconds left. Still half time. Let's see if the Eagles can get something going or if they can take it. AFC here, King Queen in the straddle. We'll get back to him in a moment as Jacob is going to open the hijack. King Jack suited. Josh will make the call. Eight, six club. Now over to KFC with King Queen. He has shown a tendency to squeeze these spots. With some incentive there. So with Josh, just make the call in between. Let's go for the big squeeze here, 400 to go now. Jacob, though, with a hand that could defend. He's stuck with that, uh, that all influences the decision here. I feel like, uh, you know, it's a spot to peel one off. Let's see if I can play one in position here against this guy with Sue King. Not showing a ton of strength, though, and is going to just let this go. Was well behind the King Queen of KFC, but now Josh, the student, has a decision to make. Any 
time you just flat a bet and then find yourself as the only player left to face the three bet, like it just really doesn't feel good. You know that you're not representing a strong range. Just, just let it go. We've all been there, you know. You look down at pocket fives, you call someone's raise, and then they get three bet, the first guy folds, and it's over to you. Okay, you got five, man. Fold them. Fine. If you can see a flop, maybe you got there. But. All good. I find you have to be okay with folding. here has seen KFC sort of stepping on people here as of late and he is going to put his own foot down and make the call going to play this one in position nine high board with a heart KFC going to love this flop I mean it's it, at the same time it's actually not that great of a flop if the pot gets too big because your opponent is going to have like all of these middling pairs and you're not as it stands, he's just going to make a small continuation bet and his opponent's going to get right out of the way. But uh, certainly if you can just keep the pot relatively small, top turn, top kicker is always a good go. They can play, can't they? Well, I mean, obviously. Nothing doing for anybody just yet. D-Time isn't a believer in the king to six. Jacob, though, with the ace-jack, is going to raise this up just a tickle. 125 over the $50 straddle, and Josh will defend with the nine dudes. Brick City for Josh and Jacob, both players with gut shots. Still no one pair ace-jack is best. Jackie, Jackie, once again, queen on the end. Ace Jack will be good if we make it to showdown. And we haven't seen Josh do anything. Yeah, yeah, he's just going to check and give up. Ace high, good. Plenty of opportunities, bad, plenty of bad. spots here Ace Jack last where Josh has really bad hands <laughs> that if he bets them will win, but not because of the merits of the hand, but the merits of betting. Again, to not overdo it when you're V pipping at this high of a rate, but when you're V pipping at 72% and bluffing at pretty much zero, like it makes it really easy for your opponent to play against you because they know that if you start betting, then you just have it. If you don't, then you don't. How did the end? Raise 275, a couple of dollars. Queen high board here, Josh. Top pair, but out kicked by D. We can play start game. My second pair, backdoor opportunity. Check over to Josh. He'll bet. Let's do it after next combat. Optimize. Facing the original Razor check is going to feel compelled to uh, come along. And here's the check raise. All right, D time. Drop the hammer. It's only 1.2k behind, raises it up to 500 now. And Josh, top pair, no kicker, has got to shrivel up a whole lot here. Especially against this player. KFC hits you with this, you might think about being a hero. But I think with me time, it's pretty clear what's going on. 
even though we played like uh, we were playing like 600, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yesterday I was second. Oh yeah. I was second. You're 24. 25. Oh yeah. We are going to go into the half, all tied up, 14-14. Eagles are not going to play with a score. All right, D time does get that one. So yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I get a profit there. Moves D time. Back up for yeah, parity. <laughs> Look at the earnings. Yeah, up over uh, 195 bucks now. So there we go. Back in the black. Hits the bin. Josh will min raise to 50. Hot does like I can't. I can't even. Like if this was blackjack, I'd, I'd for sure see another card. But uh, I just can't. Frank here says no Powerball winner. Oh damn! I didn't even look. I had tickets, but I didn't even look. I was just. Uh, Planning on being blissfully ignorant of my over a billion dollar win until I just decided to look at it later on. But uh, now you've spoiled it for me that I am not a billionaire, but neither is anyone else. So that gives us another opportunity to go out and throw our, our dollar reduce at the state. Ten four versus Jack five. Let's go. Still another player with a pair. Jack high is better. As it usually is, you Jack four, Jack five, really good hands. These are the kind of hands we're gonna play. <laughs> and we do indeed show down Jack high versus ten high. Jack high ships the pot. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Just about at the point where I can gamble again. Maybe not, but we'll see. I'm gonna try. Fifty dollar straddle is on from KFC. Womp, womp. As I'm now uh, three wins, now two losses in a row. All right, KFC here going to squeeze from the straddle. Josh limping with the red sailboats, and he will make the call. It's up to a flop, and there's a four. Another set here for Josh. This time, though, his opponent doesn't really have that much. KFC with the two over cards and oh, hey, the backdoor clubs. Man, if you would have caught that, he would have got him. Board. Josh has been limping all kinds of stuff that has had all this bottom of the deck kind of cards on it. 12 color board. Betting and here you got it. <laughs> is certainly yeah. just uh, to try to get I mean, great. Josh to fold something like 9-8 uh, or 9-7 you know, or whatever. Josh does just make the call. Five of hearts now puts a one-liner to a straight out there. No club for KFC. He is going to slow it down with a check. Josh now, yeah, he needs to start betting. Really doesn't want to see a club, a seven. You know, a couple, couple of different kinds of cards that uh, could interact with his opponent's range. So he does just put a chunky bet out there and takes it down. Nice hand. Optimized by Naughty, far and away, Naughty. player most Naughty. likely to raise first <laughs> in the pot. No queen. 
No king, no queen. Ace jack. He had a gutter ball. Jacob there with the ace eight of hearts to get the massage. The licensed mass massage therapist of Texas Royal Touch. Yeah. 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 Call from Josh and a raise from the Sato on the left. Queen. Jacob quickly getting out of there. Not going to limp call the ace eight suited. Josh, though, with Queen 10. Yeah. 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 Cheap flop or no flop, says Josh. Sato will just take that one down with 10 high. Easy peasy. You got to blow up once in a while in this game, right? Just once in a while. Hand number 81 in <laughs> 75 here from Masato. Bet next to Act hits him with three bet. Two and a quarter now. D time releasing his own ace 10 very quickly. And back over to Masato, who is going to size up his opponent's stack and be like, hmm, do I really want to play this one out of position with a hand as bad as ace 10? This is a hand that is sort of like um, four bet or fold candidate for sure. If you know that your opponent is up to no good a reasonable amount of the time, you can flat it and let your opponent's sort of uh, dominated aces stay in. But yeah, I like this decision here from Masato. This is four bet or fold. He's going to make it 750 and put the pressure back on to bet. A little scratch of the base and a quick lead following fold. And Masato will just take this down. Well played. <laughs> Good, solid, strong poker here from Masato. I like it. Pretty snug. We've seen a couple of hands that I think um, could be played. Get a drink. Yeah. Going them up, but uh, at the same time, tight is right. Do and limp King Queen of Diamonds this time for the first attack. Optimize will limp his buttons to the jack set. And D time with the same suit, but a king and a three. I make a call on your go. Three players plus Jacob, uh, who got to see a free flop, will uh, take the swap off. And there's a couple of clubs out there. One heart for Jacob in the back door opportunity. A couple of overcards here still for Josh, but it checks all the way over to Optimize. Uh, He'll take a stab. Uh, three quarters. Jack High Club. D time will make the call. Jacob and Josh are out of there. Optimize really doesn't want to club the deal off. But he pairs the seven, which is fantastic for him. That does improve him to the best hand. Checky, checky now. Off to a river we go. East I don't know Hearts. why that I'm going. <laughs> Hearts would have gotten there for yeah, Jacob well, and the Queen. Yeah. Check, check down. Optimize turns over the winner. I just kind of time like, come on, man, give this like dude a club. A monster. <laughs> yeah. And Optimize's light will flash between his eyes for I a <laughs> brief <laughs> moment. <laughs> and then he'll drag Only the pot and forget all about the danger. Only blood. Only blood. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, <laughs> time. And safely go to Taco Bell and or even KFC. Where from originally? Hong Kong. Oh yeah, you said it. <laughs> All right, Masato here first to act. So, Have you ever been to the Hong Kong game, like, uh, 
very small ray. Oh, they take they take a good amount of rake as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Some diamonds. Oh, okay. well, right? oh. Queen M9. Josh? Also with a queen nine, he's going to make the call. <laughs> What's that face? Two <laughs> players to a flop. Broadway, well any, represented. Like, a race. Do not. I do not. Okay. I do not. And wow, look at that flop. Two diamonds. <laughs> Sato working with diamonds as well as gut shots. Josh on a naked gut shot. Bet of 100. D time makes the call. Josh is out of there. Here we go. Heads up now to a turn. King of clubs. Gives Masato a pair. That's not the gut shot that D time was looking for. He's still looking for one. 10 can improve him to Broadway it over to Masato, who now has second pair with the diamonds. Honestly, this is a good spot to check back. Thank you, everyone. But instead, he's going to go big. He's going to go big. He's going to he's going to keep betting his hand and see if he can get D time to lay down an ace, and at the same time, potentially build the pot to a point where he can get all of the chips from his opponent if he does improve to the to the best uh, hand on the river. This is a spot where I'm like very frequently just checking back, realize my equity, and make sure that I don't just like over bloat the pot with a hand that is good but not great. Any time here, looks like he's going to line up a call for his sake. I hope he does find the fold button as he really does not want to improve his hand other than a 10. 10, the only thing working here for D time. To the river we go, deuce of spades. The one thing that we know for sure is that D-Time is not going to give the rest of his chip to Masato. And now with Masato betting the, betting the turn like that, I think he has to go all in. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I guess maybe now he just shuts it down. He has the king. But yeah, he's, he is going to ship it. He's going to ship it. Yeah. I mean, you don't really bet that turn to that size if you're not going to ship the river. Well played. have a pretty decent hand, but it feels like you don't have showdown. Good card to bluff with. I'm going to raise the 75 here from off time. D time. We'll make the call on the bottom with the seven tray of spades. Let's go. We're going to get a little spicy. Does flop two spades. Top pair there for Masato, and he'll check it over to Optimize. Three flop aggressor. Two over. Spades, no bet. D time makes the call. Masato's got to feel a little bit uneasy about where this is going, but it's such a small bet, and top pair with the queen kicker probably just a little too good to consider folding. He is just going to make the call here and reevaluate on the turn. Being out of position just sucks so bad. Especially in these multi-way spots, but uh, yeah, I can't just go folding top here. Natural check here. He could donk. Three of hearts, not going to be a good card for either of his opponent's range, but if he's behind, he really doesn't want to put more chips in the middle. Check, check, over to D time, and he's going to ship it in for over 2x pot. And that'll win. Seven high. No, I guess he improved to a pair of threes. So let me not short sell the man. He did improve to a pair of threes. But uh, that was not the best hand at the moment. Shifts it in. Takes it down. Well played. 
And with just about $1,740 in the stack, he's only down $250, here. Nice win there. Optimize still up the most, the shade under 2K. Look at the PFRs there, Josh is seeing a ton of flops, playing a lot of hands, but he is not raising them. Free flop. Time here, we'll limp his way into the pot. Jack, eight of diamond. Jacob will do the same. Josh, though, going to raise, but just to 75 here. <coughs> a little tickle, the ace 10 from the small blind, and everyone's going to make the call. So here we go, four players to a flop. Ace high. So the best hand here for Josh. Maybe if D-Time had club spades or hearts, he could think about continuing with his gut shot. But as it stands, this is going to be pretty speculative as he can only hit a 10 to improve his hand. Jacob with the second pair, second kicker is like, Ugh, I guess I just let it go. He does. He time here it needs a 10 and he hits it. Josh improves the two pair, blocking the 10s for D-Time, and yet D-Time just drills it instantly. Check, check, as Josh is, check is, is trapping. Queen of diamonds, and now we've got a straight all the way up to the queen for D-Time. And Josh bets big now, and D-Time ships it in. And Josh, yeah, can't believe his life. He's like, oh, I trapped him. I trapped him, and now somehow this queen comes off, and he likes that. The problem for Josh is that D-Time could be doing this with an inferior two pair. Right? I mean, th there are worlds within which uh, D-Time has a, uh, an inferior two pair. Yeah, he, he's going to make the call. D-Time is going to get the full dub, and, and that is just like a super dirty turn card. I mean, getting wrecked by a gut shot that you also block and improve to two pair on. Oof. Oof, that one hurts. That one hurts the soul. Tough spot there for Josh. That's going to move him back down to 2K. And D time now going to be in position for best showing here at this stage of the game. Is this going to put him at the top of the leaderboard? No, not quite. He is in second, though. Up to 26 k Below the I like one point. Really oh, yeah, I guess I like it. I mean, Josh I'm like now back into Stucksville, down 1K. <laughs> Tough spot there. The plus out there, hell. diamond out there, right? That's just like one of those miracles where D-Time is just like, I got a prayer. I got a prayer and it was answered. And now I got paid. That's certainly the, uh, the thrill of this game, right? Like if we all played GTO every time, there would just be a lot of like, right. well, I was bluff catching and you were betting a semi-bluff and you got there and whatever, right? There, just, there wouldn't just be this like, I don't know, like I just lost a big hand and decided to float you with a gut shot and binked it, you know? And that also happened to give you two pairs and I got pinged. Like, you just wouldn't have that much of that. The, the excitement level would be a little bit different. Jacob, take that one. Good 
luck, Ragnar. See if you can avoid the uh, the thrashing of the stream lab. Nice one. Frank, though, got thrashed. Sorry, buddy. All right, back here, a couple of black nine. Holds to him in the small blind. Four X out of position. Optimize here. Just gonna call. Not gonna go for the raise. And a couple of eights here for KFC. He'll just make the call as well. So some real hands here colliding in the blind. Single raise pot and two players swap over pairs to the board. Optimize with a gut shot and back double uh, uh, double D and backdoor diamond. So everybody has something that they are gonna feel pretty good about. Wager here from the bet 180 into 200. Sorry, into 300. Optimize makes the call, and KFC is like, Well, I can't go folding an over pair to the board. Deuce on the turn, Optimize drills it and has both opponents drawing dead. Ace 5 super disguised here as well. 5-6 would have been a flop straight, but Ace-5 kind of lurking. Optimize here, seeing this bet of 475 is now like, oh, dude, I think this guy might have like pocket kings or something. Backdoor hearts kind of comes in, but like, you're not really worried about that, having this, this sort of arrangement. The only guy that um, you're really even concerned about having a real hand that can beat you is KFC. And that's only if he had some sort of uh, pair plus backdoor flush draw. And that's kind of tough to have as well. Optimize gonna come in for the raise immediately. I'm not really sure I love this. I feel like this is a little too strong. I mean, flatting, and then raising later on is also just like super strong, but like flatting now can also be weak. Like imagine that you just have like a seven. You just gonna just fold immediately? What if you have pocket eights? What if you got pocket nine? I mean, these are all tangible hands that you can have. Seven eight of hearts, seven six of hearts, things like that. You can just call those hands. There's not a ton of them, that is true, but your hand doesn't necessarily just have to be like the super nuts. Raising now, though, 1.3K to bet with a pair of nines here. This feels super gross, and he's going to get away from it. No further damage. Now, if Optimize just called, and we get to, let's say, the river is just like some you know, blank, like a, I don't know, it's kind of tough for there to be like a super blank, but just like a jack. Like a jack is like a super blank, right? Um, Devet's probably going to check at that point. Could go for a block bet or something, and then the raise comes in, or the big bet from Optimize, right? Like, maybe that's not going to get paid. So maybe Optimize got everything he was going to, and sort of, in his mind, got to deny whatever equity is out there, plus almost just, you know, maybe he's got a set. He's got a set. He's going to put the money in. So, you know, I've got perhaps a little bit of uh, viewer's bias here. I wanted him to just call there, but... Wicked turn. Wicked turn. Deuce on the turn. Jeff saying that the SPR is good to just yeah, pump that up a little bit as both those players were pretty deep. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, looks just so strong. Down to four, yeah. It does indeed. You know, if he's going to fold the nines, like, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm not sure if he's going to call, like, ace is king. I'm, I'm just not sure. What jacks here for KFC. Second pair on this board. Masato with effective second pair. Ace as well. Three bet pot. Three flop. Let's see about a 250 here. This is, this is a spot where, yeah, you're going to have to 
sort of defend one street at least and sort of see how things develop after that. Looking at diamonds now in the turn, not a good card for either player. This is very likely to go check, check, and then we'll see how things develop on the river. But yeah, once again, hearkening back to the hand that we had played before, where the king on the turn, your opponent checks, but doesn't mean they don't have a king. It just means that they are willing to exercise a little bit of pot control. Hey, what's up, Jaywin? Masato <coughs> here going to turn his eights into a bluff and KFC quickly releasing the jack. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, let's go. Masato here recognizing that he could have the worst hand and get a better hand to fold. <laughs> Do you like New York? Do you like New York? I hate New York now. <laughs> no way. Huh? What you hate? Because the turn comes to King. I hate New York now. <laughs> so you really didn't like it that much. <laughs> Yeah, the game has been playing uh, fairly snug. A lot of uh, a lot of players putting money in, though. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've we've seen a lot of flops. Jacob and Josh gonna go toe to toe here. Queen versus a deuce. Both players will flop a gut shot. Betting a call here. Three clubs on the turn completes the full doogie. And Jacob will continue betting. Josh will peel once again to a river ace of spades. Queen high is best if we get the showdown. And honestly, if Jacob checks here, Josh has shown a propensity to just sort of shut it down and check behind. But Jacob is just going to keep his foot on the gas, and Josh will let it go. All right, here we go. Nine o'clock hour. We are just about one hour from the end of the broadcast. He's doing probably a PLO bomb pop around this time. Maybe getting one of those going here before you know it. When we do, I'll play you guys a nice advert on our TCH Live cruise that's coming up for our TCH cruise. It's coming up in the month of March. But uh, for now, we're still playing two cards. We've got Masato raising it up, 75 to go. Optimize going to rebet the 5-4 suited. And KFC, cold call on the button with 8-7 suited. And here we go, battle of the middling clubs. 5-4 well, doesn't quite qualify as middling. One club in the window. Jack and a seven behind it, so third pair and the best hand here for KFC, but optimized with the betting lead. Free bet, free flop. He can definitely rep all of the king. Just have some backdoor opportunities as well for backup if his opponent calls the turn. Pair and a backdoor flush draw for KFC. Good enough to peel one off. Jack of hearts on the turn. Terrible card for Optimize to represent anything. He is just going to have to shut this down. <laughs> KFC responds to this one. He's got a pair. Decent showdown. His opponent has something just like a queen, a ten. Oh yeah, he is just going to check it back, keep the cost small-ish. Ace on the river. And now when KFC checks back, Optimize can definitely go for it here on this river card. One of the best cards in the deck for him to represent. 
want to go too big because, you know, the opponent could always just like check back a jack, but two thirds size here. Very reasonable. Yeah, he's going to go for 700. KFC will know that this is a good card for him to bluff, but it's also tough for him to have a ton of three bet hands that don't have a pair of seven be at this point. It'd be something pretty much exactly like what Optimize has, and he is going to let it go. Optimize will show the five high like a ball, oh. and nice KFC is like, bet. yeah, that's such a bad river. You're just kind of sort of setting your money on fire and you're calling all the way down to or seven kicker. Alright, twenty-five dollar peel of Bapa come last year. Everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy it. That's nice, nice, nice. More than just a nice blow. The Texas Cardhouse Poker Cruise is getting closer and closer. Poker lovers from all over the country will be joining us on the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas, sailing out of Galveston, Texas. The clock is ticking for you to get the best deal possible. Get an ocean view room for as little as $692 per person. Get a Central Park balcony suite for as little as $734 per person. Under 30 remain at this price point. And once they're booked, these prices will go up. Your room is fully refundable up until December 20th, 2022. Save money by booking today. Reach out to Christy at Curated Cruises to get this amazing deal today. Texas Cardhouse Poker Cruise. More details at TexasCardhouse.com. Out of the way, Josh is going to scoop this. Spade flush and the nut straight. Only second nut straight for KFC on bottom. That'll move Josh up a little bit. He's down. No, 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 like uh, everybody stand up, and you know, if you want the pot, you can sit down. And, uh, oh, it's not yes. Those have evened out a lot. Wow, look at all those. Pay, um, Very closely first between the 30s and 40 percent. You know? Well, my massage is about to go. <laughs> That's fine. So explain it. Explain it again, though. Uh -huh. so we all stand up. Yes. And then. And then the last, and, and until you win a hand, you can't sit down? Yes. Once you win a hand, card. you can sit down. Yes. And the last one standing, everyone has to pay that person 50 dollars. Oh, yes. They were the wrong. Yeah, no, no, everybody, everybody. Everyone has to pay that person 50 dollars. So, like, okay, uh, I understand. Um, well, now, I'm down when my when my massage is over. I'm down. Okay. Um, so about doing in this case, like, uh, if you lose, you have to pay 300 because 1500 each. So. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I. I Always good action, it. love it. Yeah, from next hand. The bet here gonna or raise like, a couple uh, of three. Let's do a camp up, yeah. And Jacob. That's all me. I mean, the ace and queen in the small blind. Of course, he will play the stand up game. Make the call. Of course. Okay. Yeah, we all play. Masato now. No, like a. Uh, Suited 10 9. Oh. I'll take a flop for another 50 well, bucks. 50, 50. We got three players. Again, I can only start. I can only play one on the side. Nine high board, <laughs> couple of spades, one for the love. Top pair in the best hand here for him. Yeah, you can do that. Like, when you play, I can just stay straight. all the way through. I have a bad yeah. bat, really. I have a bad bat. Now on the turn. Not the card. Okay. Right. <laughs> for. It's a good uh, card I check. for Devet's opening range, but after checking the flop, facing two checks to him, there's two checks behind with the three. 
Another nine on the end. Top trips now, or not top, but trips now for Masato. Jacob checks. Probably going to be pretty tough to get paid if you're Masato, but I think you kind of have to just put a little tickle out there. Yeah, almost full pot. Try to get paid. Every once in a while, somebody looks you up. Jacob thinking about it with just the ace high here. It does look like a little bit of a like decent spot to call with nut no pair. So Masato will turn over the nine, and Jacob's like, oh, ooh, that was uh, not a good time to have nut no right, pair. So, uh, <laughs> what does that look game? All right, so I'm going to put a, put him over here. Okay. There you go. So I get to bring him back once I win a hand, correct? Right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. But does the Joker get cards? Or? No, no, no. no. <laughs> does not get cards. What are we doing, guys? So, yeah, everyone, so. You stand up. You yeah, stand, stand up. Win hand. Until you win a hand. The last one win a hand, you pay everybody to win. Oh, All right, we're playing stand-up stand -up oh, game. Here we go. Well, I'm not, because I'm getting massaged. <laughs> Anybody who is unfamiliar with the Texas stand-up game, it is uh, a normal poker, but every player stands. And once you win a hand, you get to sit down. The last player that is still standing, so otherwise known as the last player to win a hand, or who has not won a hand, while well, everyone else has at least one hand, uh, they have to pay a bounty, they have to pay a, uh, a penalty to every other player at the table. I'm not sure if we're doing uh, 50, 100, or what we're doing here, probably 100. Uh, yeah, yeah. You win a hand, you get to sit down, and then you're not at risk. And you will only be making the additional payment from whoever the four sod is still standing at the end. It's a big incentive to uh, to sit down as let's say it's a hundred dollars and you uh, have you know, friend, seven opponents at the table, six <laughs> opponents at the table. Uh, you can uh, be up six up hundred bucks if you don't win a hand. So <laughs> you you want to win a hand. Uh, <laughs> Here we are, two players with just high cards. Uh, we're checking down. Josh is still not going to go for it until now. Well, he, and here we go, one fifty, two thirds sizing. Here on the end, and optimized has an ace high bluff catcher. Eights and fives on board. Yeah, I mean, I think you just call and you win. And Optimize is going to get to sit down. Ace high. <coughs> and just like that, Optimize, the first player to guarantee himself a payout. So, like, stand up game makes more action for a game like this. Optimize still also sitting up top of the leaderboard. 3.7k. Everybody wants you to play here tonight. Did you guys play this at Lodge when you did this? Yeah. Squat Dude 21, how you doing? Welcome yeah, Lodge here. loves stand up games. Yes. Actually, like, we play stand up game in Vegas as well. Like, really? Yeah. Have you played any of the Vegas streams? No, 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 no. They have no streaming game in Vegas. Oh, they don't? Yeah. Here? KFC, you're going to I mean, just a regular game. Yeah. Jacob, who is technically standing. Yeah, yeah. It's very popular, yeah. But in principle, <laughs> No. I've never, I've never just, like, done and it. Josh just here really wants to sit down. He's going to flat E6 off against the three bet. Just <laughs> one. KFC will complete. Here we go. Three players. Stand-up game can definitely influence the action a lot. Oh my god, look at that. Two sixes out there for Josh. He's taking a seat here pretty soon and might be taking a bunch of Jacob's chips with it. Big chunky bet here. Three-quarter pot size bet from Jacob with the over pair. And Josh now. I mean, he's only got 1.6k behind him. He just, is he just going to ship it, or is he going to just call and leave the 1,000 behind? I think either way, Jacob's going to pay this off. I don't know how you can fold, right? I mean, Josh has been calling a bunch of hands. He can just be here with an 8, just some random 8. I mean, I think he can just ship it in. He's just going to make the call. I mean, also understandable. KFC is out of the way, and... Jacob here, I mean, is still going to think that he's going for value when he puts him, his opponent all in on the turn. 7-5 just got there. 10-7. I don't know. None of those are calling. Uh, 253 and now. I mean, you're, you're like, best case scenario here is like 8-9, right? Like 8-9 of spades, 8-9 of clubs. 
that has improved, but you still beat them. I, mean, I think you're just all in here if you're Jacob. Just I mean, SPR is one half. Yeah, you just put them all in. Josh will snap the chips in, and Jacob will be like, I have uh, tens. Oh, you flatted my three bet with ace six. And for the second time tonight, Josh has doubled through Jacob. First time it was uh, bottom set versus top pair. 1,070. Sixth time it is over pair versus flopped trip. Tough spots here for Jacob. And Josh getting himself unburied now back up in the black one k in the pot. <laughs> And gets to take a seat. So technically, Jacob, of course, here is still standing. I believe. Getting the massage, so he is taking his seat, or, or staying in his seat. But I think I think he's moved his little uh, one of his little figures over to the uh, the six seat there to indicate that he is standing. Or when he, if he takes a seat, then he uh, pull that back. I think that's what I heard discussed. Damian Pierce up over 100 yards rushing. Jacob here going to raise it up, 125 to go with the queen on space. KFC will defend his straddle with nine dupes. Top pair for Jacob, bottom pair, back to a flush draw for KFC. I, I feel for Jacob and the damage that he has taken here. If he loses this hand to the nine dupes, I'm going to feel for him a lot. KFC will go for the check call. Six of spades on the turn changes nothing. So Jacob, you're in real good shape. 565 in the middle. He'll go for another bet here. Smallish bet under half pot. Our club still out there. KFC down to just a deuce or a nine to improve his hand. A pair of twos isn't very inspiring. Even if your opponent is with just like two overs and clubs, like you're just barely ahead. Does go for the check call once again. Five of hearts on the end changes nothing. We get to showdown. Jacob will win. KFC checks. And Jacob made it. Yeah, he's just going to turn his hand over like, please, sweet baby Jesus, tell me I'm not losing this hand. Bring the Joker back. And there we go. Little figure moves back over to the stack. He is indeed actually seated. That's what I try, try to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. Chasing for that. Uh, Maybe appears absolutely <laughs> rushing, steamrolling here tonight. 122 rushing yards. No touchdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could be coming. He's got some wheels. All right, folds over and around to KFC. He will complete from the big one in D time. Check his option. Here we go. Heads up between two players that are standing. All the remaining players that are standing know that at least one player is going to sit down. D time here. Flops bottom pair turns into trips on the turn now. KFC may just take a stab at this just to try to get something through. Yeah, he's going to go for an over bet here. A 3x over bet to the pot. <laughs> and D-Time has the trip. He makes the call, and KFC knows he's toast. He's like, I literally can't prove. There's not a card you can put out there that is going to give me the best hand. I just 3x plus on the turn. And yeah, it's like, you're just toast. KFC may not believe it yet, though. Oh my god, he's going to bet again. Ooh. 
and he and D time Park calls before KFC <laughs> can even get the chips out there. He's like, whatever that is, I call that. Whatever that, whatever. That is. <laughs> KFC there certainly getting bit by the stand-up game on that one, and that will happen. You know, you just you have such an incentive, such a strong will to win a hand and sit down before your opponent. That was a tough one. That was a tough one right there. KFC. Oh, so it's only 50? The... Okay, so the bounty is only $50 a head. So if you do the math, then let's say that you're up against um, <laughs> it, six other opponents because you don't have to pay yourself, of course. It's only $300. So yes, there's an added incentive to win a hand, but like it's 300 bucks. Like if you torch a thousand on a hand trying to get something through, and it doesn't work out, I mean, you know, just eat the bounty, just pay the 300. But uh, but that's the thing, you know? This game, it, it tickles the brain in such a way that we, we feel the in, need to sure win a hand. Good set down. <laughs> set down and the All right, that's here we go. Raise the yeah. 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 There you five go. Five you five 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 working with a couple of Josh's, a couple well, of Jacob's. I, I, I had suited Pocket King Jack. 6. And uh, Masato over here with a stupid 2x4 right? no. Woody. No, that was a, but the bat, yeah, the bat was totally I just wasn't telling him. He raised it. But he yeah. wants to win. <laughs> you called it. I thought, hell, I He wants to win and sit no, down. No, I saw your ace. He's dominate. like, all right, well, I guess we put in another 250. You would have been, you would been sitting down still and I'd been standing. There's a jack in the window. It is a diamond, but there's really not a lot of help out there for Masato. Optimize has got to be loving this, though. He's like, if you have an ace, you're not going to want to fold because you're still standing. He's got a three and a quarter. See what happens. And Masato will be like, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I tried with four high. Didn't get there. Optimize will take that. Players still standing. KFC. Players check live stream. Masato. Uh, three thousand. Yeah. Almost on. All right, raise to 225 here from the if the work might get himself some more chips or something back there. Uh, we'll come back to the king dudes, let it go. Oh. Oh, C5. Oh, no, I was talking about four. Um, yeah, so D-Time, I guess, is going to take his leave uh, before the end of the stream, but uh, just chat with Mel about that. Production. So Jacob here going to make the call, 225. Masato, 8-4 off, is going to make the call here and defend his $50. Does flop bottom pair here. That is not best, though, Jacob here. Top pair, top kicker. Check to the vet who has just ace high, three to a straight, three to a flush, and the betting lead. So he's going to fire at this for 350. Jacob here. Gotta love this spot. I wonder if he's going to raise. Check raise certainly within the realm of possibility. This was a $50 straddle. So, you know, you're playing a lot shorter in terms of the number of big blinds than normal. Her fours hits the muck, and Devet here would have to really go for it if he wanted to bluff. It would yes. be all of the chips, and instead <laughs> he's gonna let it go. And Jacob's like, I don't know, I got, I got to ace jack. What do you want? <laughs> he's like, I just wanted to sit down. That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> at the room party. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're still on one other. 
Jeff here in the chat screaming at uh, Optimize from the past. Yeah, yeah. Check I, I get it. <laughs> middle set on the flop. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't necessarily disagree with you. But at the same time, like, if your opponent has an ace, they're also just going to pay you. So, I don't know. And the front door spades. I mean, there's, there's plenty of ways to play that. You could check it. You could, you could bet it. Either way, he, he did get any time for it. <coughs> All right, KFC is going to take his next shot at sitting down after reloading. I don't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> 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 Seven, six, two, <laughs> Sato call, Josh call. That's like credit card Who reward for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Five yeah. Minutes of what diamonds out here for KFC? We had a young Josh guy shot. in Chicago that was about Three 14 of well, us in the Italian restaurant. Big Bill. Into he wanted to play that game. He didn't have any money. Uh, so he thought, three. I'll get out. Yeah. yeah. He got stuck with the here How old? With the uh, gut he was shot an early trade. He was a trader, but he, oh, okay. he didn't have the money to pay that bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he wanted to get like his meal for you know. So, he, so yeah. what happened? We we let him go for a minute, like you know, look, are you gonna be Sasha watching? With the we jack got the jack, 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 jack of clubs. So he didn't have, have any money. Well, well, he didn't have his. It was a one two thousand dollar bill. Yeah, he didn't have a credit card to put it on. We said you might be washing dishes. You know, we let him go. Then we all paid for it. Eight of clubs now on the turn. More. <laughs> that was all he thought I got one to, you know. Yeah. How many people? How many? 16 of us. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he, was he, was like, he was playing the odds. He was playing the odds. He was playing the odds. Man, the sweat. That must have just been dripping. When it got down to the, just. We're dying. Man, what what did uh what did he say? Like how oh, did he, he how was did, almost in tears. You, you, I mean, <laughs> he was like 21 years old, you know. I mean, it, the embarrassment alone. Oh yeah, we gave him some. You, I mean, God. Oh, it was fun. That made the night, man. <laughs> and we oh had a big deal. We had a big deal. It was so steaks and pasta. Of course, you know. I'm not surprised it wasn't more. 16 yeah, it was shit. Yeah. It was 150 dollars a person, whatever that is. If he needs to improve, and he does. We had fun with him. We gave him some shit. Diamond on the end for the flush. That is a dagger through Masato's heart. That was yeah. the last card of the deck that he wanted to see. Okay. That's something else. You can see here improving. To the seven high flush. Value a little bit of uh, chip sandwich there. Masato is like, ah, oh, I think I had you. I think I had you. Now I don't. And he's right. Uh, you right. Forgot to if you want seven people high. Rude, like uh, you have to show the hand if you take the seat. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you just want to stand back? You'll see it. You'll see it. Out of flush. Yeah, yeah. Out of flush. You have flush. You yeah, so that is typically up. the rule. <laughs> <laughs> you have to show the hand to sit down. I don't know I how well uh, vocalized yeah. that was oh, in the beginning. Was <laughs> Usually if that's it's a sticking point go. where people are really going to hold you to it and be like, no, you didn't show your hand, you don't get to sit down. Usually that's very well yeah, so, yeah. clarified. You have to um, show it depends on you where you play, but that really certainly winnable. is yeah. like but, but the like default actually, rule everybody show, show the hand. I didn't know that yeah. when I showed my hand. And you know, yeah, if you yeah, play yeah, in a group yeah, yeah. Actually, where it's a pretty it, regular so thing and everybody's that. expected to know the rules, so you muck the hand, uh, you don't get to sit down. Explain that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Of course, uh, these players are going to allow KFC to take the seat. I think it's very uh, How about we, we get a deal? <laughs> no. So no, we can Masato it sounds wants to it sit down sweet. here before I'll text you. <laughs> the vet sits down. Those are the only two players still standing. Okay, let's see. Vet 75. Masato has to fold. No deal after that. Still two players standing. At the earnings optimize up over 4k now. D time up 2k. This is good. A little this over. Is Josh cool. 900. Masato yeah. versus his fans. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for his fans. This is it. Optimize still leading the, the way at 26%. Yeah. Yeah. 19, almost 20%. I actually lost so much money in this stunning game. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think more than 1,000. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was right, wrong. Just that's it? That. One dollar? Yeah, that, I was like, that's I thought it was like two dollars. These shenanigans. Maybe more. With yeah, the maybe two more. standing players in the small blind and big blind, respectively. Maybe another zero. He just lets it go. <laughs> Can you say you play uh, another? Yeah, Jacob right? limps yeah. the jack ten yeah. suited. Yeah. Devet raises. Masato had one as well. So Devet here <laughs> going for the squeeze <laughs> to just try to get him off the to, seat. To red. But Jacob will defend, <laughs> and that will give a price for Masato here with just the king six off. But he knows that if Devet wins this hand, then he'll be out <laughs> 300 bucks. So he is incentivized to stick around even with such a bad hand as king six off. He does fold, though. I mean, it shows that he's... No, he calls. He does call. Okay, I thought I thought he let the cards go. Uh, Jack high. Super disconnected. Jacob here. <laughs> Just punish. And after Masato's out of the way, Tibet's like, oh, good God, I have a pair. I have a pair. Please let me win this hand. Can I find a queen or a deuce? <laughs> I, I can imagine. That's not a queen or a deuce. Jacob here could just bet again or check, honestly. You have top pair. You don't have a great kicker. Your opponent probably doesn't have much. Just let, get, give him a chance to bluff the river. You know, you don't need to just try to like bet for a bunch of value Jack. with your jack. There we go. He, he could go for value there on that. <laughs> <laughs> of having to try to figure out if he's going to fall off with I actually felt like bad. I was like, God, I feel like I'm a pussy checking up here. Like, You've done pretty well you. in this game, and you never had to stand up. Whatever, I'm still down in this game. Like, well, I meant, I meant, I meant on this yeah, round. Yeah, but you remember. know, like, he's so incentivized to just do something random, like jam over the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Like, I'm not going to exceed the value of my hand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at the football game here. Is uh, deep into the third quarter. No, fourth quarter now. 97 rushing yards here for Miles Sanders. Three away from hitting the bonus. <laughs> He's like, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> There's no choice. Oh, there we go. This is going to be the spot. Oh, yeah. That's what I want it. Here we go. Okay, here, Masato and Debet heads up. Somebody will win. Let's get out of the way. Extra $300. <laughs> <laughs> Both players with just jack high right now. <laughs> check, check. King of Spades now on the turn. Debet, 83% favorite check. Masato here. God, it's so hard to represent anything. Masato was the preflop raiser, though, not betting on the ace high board. Start betting the king. He does. 150, almost full pot. Debet here. With a gut shot to Broadway and the best hand with Jack-10 high. He does make the call. Here we go to the river, the deuce of clubs. Jack-10 will win if we get to showdown, but Devet checks, and Masato can bet and win here. Bet like 375, so it doesn't look like you're just totally Check. bluffing. Uh, no, he shuts it down. Jack he checks it. Devet's going to win with Jack-10 high. Same hand? I'm surprised you didn't bet. Oh my God! Get some of that Masato money. Oh my God! Some Masato money. Pay it out. Fifty dollars to everybody. Well, you paid the whole table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so fun. Absolutely. So it's one fifty back. And I, I think it was Masato's idea, wasn't it? Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Your idea. <laughs> that's my idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's uh, idea. Uh, What's up, it. Jack? Jack. What? Oh, oh, he's he's well, he's he's out. Out. All right, back to regular. Like, yeah, you're like, he's going to bet anything. I was like, all the time. Yeah. And number 103. I'm the distract. Okay. Yeah, he's getting down here. Masato. Back on the board after paying out. Stand up, bounty. He's a queen. 
75 to go. Optimize two red eights in the small blind. He is going to squeeze 275 now. After getting paid out here, D time, he's going to hit the rope. Do you need my money? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is yours, right? You, got it. <laughs> you can have it back. You can have it back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Make them back. <laughs> Next call. Yeah, wow, look at that flop. Jack, seven, two, rainbow. As disconnected as it gets. A couple of eights here still looking pretty good for optimized. So continue. 40% prop. Sato with two over cards. Ace high is going to be good some of the time. Make the call. Optimized doesn't love that. And here's an ace on the turn. Really doesn't love that. Nice checks it over. Masato here has got to feel like he for sure has the best hand. Let's see if he bets now or checks it back to go for value on the river. Two ways to go about it for sure. I go for value now. Understandable. 450. About 40% pop. Optimized here in a pretty gross spot. You're like, ah, did you did you float me on the flop with just an ace high? If you did, it's got to be a good ace high, like ace queen or have some sort of backdoor potential. Ace five diamonds, something like that. Now you're betting, like, damn it, my life sucks. I think optimized settles on a fold here. That's my guess. Sure, 50 back. Yes. And then some. Thank you, thank you, please. Sato, excited to win a pot. Do you have any of those cards? Just that 300 back plus some. Any of those cards? Any of those cards? Yes. You did? I did, of course. Not of course. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't know how excited you were to get your money back. You know, you bet Jack High on the turn last time. You're right. You are right. Five dollar straddle is on. When you first walked in, all right, Optimus is going to raise it up on the butt. He looks so much like he's also. Not a small point. Jack hates Like, I want to pull up a picture and show you. And gets it through. Like, I was literally like, what the hell? Always good to see players taking those hands that are, like, right on the edge. You're like, oh, man, I really hate to fold this hand. But I don't want to call it. Oh, yeah, what does that mean? I mean, I three it. There are several pictures. Maybe, I, maybe he's got to have a hat on. Let me find one with a hat on. Let me find one with a hat on. Come on into the home stretch here. About half an hour from the finish line. I haven't gambled in a while. I guess I better fire one off. I have not seen him in several years. Though. Ooh, single digits. Is that where we're at now? Is that, is that what we've come down to? Well, I won three in a row, and then I lost three in a row. So I'm back to that even, plus the, the little scraps that you get from interacting with the chat. So, cool. Jacob here, suited ace-queen, raised it up, 75. And Sato going to hit him with the business, 375 now from the big line. Jacob here. 
very likely is just a call. Does indeed make the call. Heads up to a flop. 780 in the middle. Both players quite deep. 10 high board. A couple of fives out there. Sato does have backdoor club. But cannot make a backdoor straight. Go for a small size here, 250 for one third. And this is this is sort of like a one and done unless you pick up a club on the turn. Most of the time, just feels obliged to see that. Jacob does make the call. Here we go, seven of diamonds on the turn. Let's see if Masato keeps going or if he shuts this down. I mean, this is still a good board for his range. Like. He's going to have all the over pairs. Jacob is not. This is big blind versus button. So Sato could definitely be three betting. Uh, some, some of the hands that have interacted with the board as well. So he is just going to keep going for it. 700 now. <laughs> Jacob already has the look of someone who is not pleased about where this is going. Made a big call with nut no pair um, a little bit earlier in the night. This is second nut no pair, and I don't know. It does feel just kind of gross. You're like, you probably don't have aces. You probably don't have queens. Do you have jacks or kings right now? Really? Really? I don't know, man. But you call now. And what do you do if your opponent jams the river? It's a deuce of club. What do you do then? You're going to put it all in? Those are the questions. May or may not be going through Jacob's head 15 minutes ago. I think he settles on a fold. That's me. Also, by thinking this long, Jacob has a little bit announced. Potentially that like his hand is like pretty marginal and doesn't really want to continue. So if he were to call there, Masato may feel even more inclined to just punch it all in on the end. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Masato, just like that, after being stuck pretty good there for a minute, has worked his way back, winning back to back hand. Yeah, sounds like it. Nobody's leaving? I think I leave. You're leaving? Yeah. Okay, cool. Everybody else saying? I think I hear Jay win. Where you been? Uh, I'll play the last a little bit. I added to the Win, local legend, has just showed up to uh, try to get in the game, but it uh, sounds like the questions being raised were who's leaving as soon as the stream is over and who wants to play for a little while. Jacob here going to put a couple of sevens to work with a lift. Sato will raise 150 now. <coughs> Jacob makes the call. Jack high flop. <coughs> Not a bad looking flop here for a couple of sevens. Two and a quarter, Jacob, not going anywhere. Three of diamonds on the turn, brings in the front door diamonds. Sato quickly checks it over, and Jacob here is gonna do a cursory diamond check, and then realize that, uh, yeah, no, I still just have a pair of sevens with a gut shot, so let's what check. Ah, it's a little sprain. It's a little swelling, it should go away. Jaywin looks like he is, uh, Done some work on his leg or his knee or something over there. I haven't talked to that man in a little while, but it looks like he's done some damage up there somewhere. Another diamond here on the end. There's four diamonds out there. Kind of a tricky card to bet if you're Masato. If you do, you kind of have to go real big. How's the game so far? It's been fun. It's like stand up. Your yeah. Favorite. Uh, I mean, I'm probably I mean, I'm I mean, he goes half pop for 400 here. 
which I mean, it, it also does just like put a bunch of middling strength hands under a lot of pressure to just go for the mid size. So yeah, going big, I guess, doesn't make a ton of sense. Maybe Jacob here, lining up a min click. He does basically min click this to 900, and he's gonna turn the sevens, the best hand, into a bluff. Sato lights 400 on fire. Jacob winning a nice little pot right there. 2K in that one. Well played. And after that hand, Jacob still stuck a good chunk, but regains a little bit of traction. Optimized up 3.5K. Jay Wynn taking his seat. Why you think the game not that broke? Huh? The game broke? Yeah, the game just broke. Oh, okay. Yeah. That game broke. Maybe I'll say no. I wanted to keep playing. <laughs> But that's where you're going to go back, right? Yeah. Uh, the 2-5. And the first hand. Suited Woody. Uh, yeah, a little, yeah. Okay, so the game broke. Yeah, yeah. All right, folds over to Optimize. He limps the King-6, and KFC will punish him. The Ace-5, but Optimize not going anywhere. $100 and a call. King high. An A7, checky, checky. You drink alcohol? What's that? Four now on the No alcohol at all. I still bet. Oh, you mean, you mean like. Optimize the. Yeah, you drink? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a better point for me. I'll just take a stab. And KFC does have a gut shot. He can get it safe. I don't drink. I mean, drinking. You have been? Today? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I said I love drinking. You love drinking? Yes. Oh, fantastic. My kind of Asian. But he's just going to let this go. I found a picture of the hat, but as I'm looking at it now, I, friend is I'm, wrong. I'm wrong. I'm <laughs> wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was like looking at it, and I was like, nah, I'm wrong. <laughs> he looks older than you. He, he, he is. He is. Uh, Jay, that's me, man. I want to say 47. 47? Yeah. I'm guessing. Because he was always older than me. I'm 42 now, so I'm, I'm just like, I'm just trying to, I'm guessing his age. You 42? I'm, 40, I'm about to be 42. Yeah, no one would ever guess that. That's uh, good. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to guess. You don't even look like a fossil yet. <laughs> I feel like when I was a baby, or not baby, but when I was like younger, a teenager in my 20s, I always felt like 40s older. But yeah, no, definitely. I don't uh, like feel. I, well, so my body feels 40, I guess. Yeah. Oh, let me like, think about it for a second. Because like um, I haven't yeah. eaten anything in my life. It could be like we have better products and better nutrients. And yeah. It's a combination of things. But like, like our parents didn't look. No, 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 no. no. Like, they, don't, they don't have like all the things that you can do with your skin and, yeah. and different things like that. And yeah. Like I started using moisturizer. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, like that stuff really helps. No, I mean, like some face scrubs. And yeah, yeah so. Like um, I mean, well, well, here's a question for you guys. Uh, yeah, we got a we got a, a suggestion like, or from the players that we like continue to stream for an extra hour. Drop a deuce in the chat. Yeah, like, you really want us to do another hour. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, prob you know, the other thing we'll, is we'll see. We'll we'll gauge they, this they by uh, public economy, participation. Like 20, 30 years ago, it's a lot of like physical labor. Yeah. And that stuff yeah. fucking yeah. ate the shit out of you. Yeah. Whereas like our job, I just sit behind a laptop. Exactly. At home. Oh, this guy. Absolutely. He's 25. Yeah, if, if you guys really want to stay up for another hour or, or stick around with us for another hour and watch more of this game in play, we can make that happen. But uh, we need to know that it is worth the effort because I have not eaten since this morning. Usually I uh, get out of here right at the 10 o'clock hour and I'm able to go hit the T-bell on the way home. He's also, my friend is also like a massive Astros fan, so. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Why you guys don't have the game on? Oh, yeah, that's right there. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, Houston, too. Uh, Astros eliminate my... Uh, I don't know if my, my chat game. is frozen or if you guys really I'm, just don't I'm care, but I'm not seeing I'm really anyone the responding. There you go. <laughs> I think well, my chat might just be frozen. Uh, I'm from here, but I'm actually a Red Sox fan. <laughs> oh, oh. Gross. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's actually a funny story. I don't know. No responses. Yeah. Do you live there or go to school there or something? No. I'm up there. Um, so yeah, so I grew up here. Yeah. Uh, the vet here, Pocket yeah, Ace is going to raise this up 75 to go. During that time, they always come, always play the Yankees in the postseason. Mm -hmm. This is Juan Gonzalez, Rafael Palmero days. 
Josh with a couple of red sailboats. He's just going to go ahead and let this out. Yeah. Out the way. And somehow that grew into a love of their rival. Red Sox. That makes sense. It was really, really weird. Um, how it happened, what's funny now is my, my wife is from... Ford bet. Suburb of I haven't had a ton of four bets yeah. here, so, but pocket so, aces. If you're well, she, she got into sports. It's like funny that like, had to do it. like her parents did. Like, yeah. Yeah. Red Sox. And yeah. now they're, they're, they're yeah. married a guy that loves Red Sox. Yeah. Uh, no other New England teams. Those are not fourth bets. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That is going to be the end of that. Yeah. I just don't respect them. Yankees always put together like the all star lineup. They just can't get the job done. I don't know what it is. I'm early in the season, we're I mean, losing a full season. You know? Yeah, y'all have not had a good run. Um, it was like it wasn't even competitive. Like the Astros just put yeah. their butts. No, it didn't seem like it was competitive. Yeah. What was it? Five games? I think it was. It was a sweep. It was a sweep. It was a sweep. That's right. And the last game was like really hard to watch. I mean, they whooped them so bad. Five zero. I yeah. can't remember. It was like. And one hundred and eleven. This close to a record. I just feel like. Were you guys seven handed most of the night? We're That's gonna go just a record. little bit longer tonight. We're not gonna go yeah. a full hour. The other day we were six handed, we didn't get to 100. I'm exaggerating. We probably did get exactly to 100. But I don't think we got here. That's good. No software issues today? I don't know, I'm here, so the software might break. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm here, the software breaks. And it's always my fault somehow. Jesse's tips are all over the floor right now. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Heads up. Yeah, I think I would keep playing. Jay. Two of flop, here. nine high. Yeah, play for a little bit. Um, Both players how about with this? king high. Play for a little bit. Four. And if you and your friend want to go somewhere, we can go to the domain, like around. Oh, yeah. Have you been there yet? What time is it? It's like a nice out, uh, outdoor shopping center. There's like a lot of restaurants and bars. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I asked if you drink. Okay. If you want, um, you know, we can just play poker for an hour or uh -huh. so, and then we can go there, grab some snacks, and, and drink a little bit. Happy to take you out if you want. Yeah. I'm actually, as I said before, right, I'm Jay Wynn, I'm gonna I'm dieting right now, so. Show, uh, I'm fucking diet. I'm going to show around now. Anyway, the NEC. Oh, oh but I do got to remember that you have a flight at 7. Yes. yes. Shit. You got to wake up at like, what, 4? I don't know Maybe, if you're packed already. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Audio well, Poker Monkey and Kicker yeah, Problems, we're not going to do like another hour. Like the, uh, the feedback <laughs> was not Jesus. such I resounding I yes of deuces in the chat. To uh, indicate that uh, <laughs> you guys really wanted to stick around, so How only a few of you How responded. Important. It's important. And um, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a long night in the the broom closet well, for both Mel and I. Already at four hours. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, alone going five. Eight, so we'll, we'll like put in another I fifteen minutes or so. After the usual. A little bonus material here for you guys. One o'clock is it ten? In afternoon. No. Should be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Thir 13 hours. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know Asia. I, I don't know Japan yeah. specifically. It's like a 2 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> KFC here. Trip aces. That's 125, and only Jacob continues with the king high heart draw. Jack of spades now on the turn. Changes nothing. KFC well out in front. But again, 400 now. Are you into uh, table will massages? Release. Like you know how the ladies give massages? Yeah. Are you into that? No. It's hard. I, I think like Japan as a culture is like very conservative. Yeah. Uh, American culture is like whatever. <clears throat> Actually, I, I have never tried that. Really? In my right, right. No. Last nine Can I buy? Years. Do you want to try it? I'll buy your massage. No, no, no. Come no, on. No. <laughs> this is a PG-13 kind. Never mind. I don't know if you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Wynn here trying to get Masato out of his shell a little by him the sauce. So KFC, is that your initials or? <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I'm late to the party. He but he Colonel. does love yeah. the Colonel. I like Popeye. Popeye. Like Popeye. Popeye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh here waking up with number one. Oh. 
Oh, and after limping that? the button all night long, he's going to raise to 75. And gets two quick folds and wins. <laughs> and he's got aces. <laughs> aces! <laughs> Come on, really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. 75% deep hit. Can't compete with aces. Damn. It does feel bad. It does feel bad. All right, Jay Win here, first to act. Eight five, no good. Did you guys start late set? Josh will limp the king queen suit. And Masato will raise the button. Optimize here with a suit of 10 9. Let's see how he plays this. It's going to be a squeeze. 400. Josh here getting put under pressure. Not me. King queen suited. And just limp for 25. I'm going to take one more look at this beautiful hand and then toss it in the muck in Masato here. This arrangement is sort of always interesting when you have this battle of the blind versus the button. Because the button never gets credit for a real hand. They're always expected to just have some trash and they're just raising whatever. And so you can kind of push them around. Well, when you have a hand that's good but not great, you have to decide how to play it. Make the call. I'm going to play this one in position. Jack high. The top pair, top kicker, but up and down straight draw. Here for optimize. No heart on board, so back doors are out of the question. Optimize is going to check his up and down straight draw here. Jack high board's not going to favor him, although he can still have plenty of over pairs and flop sets as well. This, again, was a limp and a single open. He squeezed, so he can definitely have pocket eight. So he's just gonna check this over. And Masato, top kicker, top kicker. Yeah, he's gonna bet and healthy. Two thirds here, 575, just like, I don't know, I'll probably have the best hand. And if I can just win and have you fold out your equity now, that's great. Does go for the big size here, so. Not getting a great price, especially out of position here. Let's see if he just holds this. No, instead, he's going to min click check raise. 625 on top of 575. This is just about as min clicky as it gets. This is basically just challenging Masato to do you have a hand? <laughs> if you have a hand, you're going to continue because the price is just simply too good. If you don't, this looks like a ton of value, like flopped top set or flopped middle set, just something astronomical. Maybe even pocket aces does this, right? Like pocket aces with the ace of clubs. It's just like, I don't know, it's an in click you. Masato will make the call, and this is getting weird. Pot up at 3,200, and Masato the effective stack with just 2.5K behind. Beautiful card here for Optimize if he wanted to bet. I mean, yeah, pocket kings just got less likely, but like if he ever did this with ace king of clubs, just kind of weird. You'd normally just like see bet. Oh, he does. He goes for it, just jams it in. And Masato has got to be just sick to his stomach here. But he blocks pocket aces. The king on board blocks pocket kings, but he, he's just going to let this go. This looks too strong, and Optimize is able to get this through. With the 10 high, let's go. He turns it over, and Optimize has been playing like a sicko. A couple of big plays here tonight. A couple of really big plays. Love to see it.
in quick, good. check raise, and then jam to put them all in. I mean, and that's, it works perfectly because of the, the stack sizes, right? Like, min click him, if he's really got like a super strong hand or something, maybe he just jams it, and you just fold. But no, Sato makes the call, and then has just enough behind to fold. What a hand. What a hand. Try to get your cards. Sorry. Your hand was active. Huh? Your hand was active. <laughs> I didn't see my hand. <laughs> All right, Miles Sanders was at 97 yards, only three yards shy <laughs> of the 100-yard bonus, and now he has lost four yards. <laughs> $5 straddle. So it's like an open from Devet uh, in the cutoff. 75 to go. Jay Wynn will complete with pocket fours and Jacob out of the straddle will defend as well. Queen eight, two kings, one queen, so the best hand here for Jacob. Check, check over to Devet, and he will just check behind. Kind of clubs here, changes nothing. Jacob well out in front here. Jaywin with a pair of fours has some showdown. I'm not sure if he's thinking about betting or sort of denial. Jacob not going to bet his queen. And no, Jacob is going to bet his queen. The bet is going to fold. As will Jay win. Is there any alcohol over there? So Jacob's going to ship Aaron that pot. Hand number 117. Yeah, we have hit the 10 o'clock mark, and we are now going into overtime here for you guys. Got about 15 minutes coming at you of extra time. Special request of the players. Jacob, Jacob, Jay. Nice to meet you, Nice to meet you, sir. Anybody want a drink? I'm good. Come here to hang out with you. Cool <laughs> Take care. Good to see okay. you, friend. Truly, no. Michelob, and uh, the green thing. Oh, Saki. Hello. Jay Wynn here. Up so Robert, the Taco Bell, my in a while, sir. Looks like we've got yeah. a player coming in. All right. Now it's a game. Uh, Robert, 5, 10, 25. Okay. All right. Debeck going to raise it up 75 to go with the queen 10 suited. Optimize. KFC? King no drinks? Next to act makes it 225. I feel like KFC. Huh? I'll take one. Yeah, here we go. I feel like he can be. My kind of Asian man. All right. Uh, Michelob. I have not seen this man Julie. in a hot minute. Yeah, Robert in the house. We'll take a Michelob. Michelob? Oh, All right. I guess it's like fruity, eight, but it's like. King, like, eight, like two, two spades. Yeah. Action block. Did anyone watch the Dahmer series on Netflix? Got shot in a flush draw. Uh, it's on our bet. free up turn next. card. This isn't yeah. like giving anything away, and obviously it's like historical, yeah. but he's always drinking a Budweiser. I'm just like shocked by Budweiser land. And now Terrell and Budweiser left. Like, like, and improving, and yet still way behind. Yeah, it's like bad water placement. Like I don't know, but then there's also that thing that's like, middle of the board getting there's also that thing that's like, uh, no press, not press type of thing. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, but like, we were just like shocked by it. Like, he will you know, be getting called. I mean, I, I think that's just what he drank, though. Mm -hmm. So it's like accurate to that. I don't know that there's a ton of it's value really, in really raising really as your hand so really just wants to see a river and see if it can get there. Problem is that you're then out of position if you do improve. Let's say that, you know, spade comes off. Are you then just going to start betting? Man, it's like that. Yeah. The show is good, though. 
Very good. Yeah. Four diamonds. It's, it's up next for us. Nothing optimized here should be going for value. And it was one of those things that we, once we started, we were done with. We were done with. Middle, a couple of draws. Like, we don't tip, we have to do that. Something like an yeah. ace jack, yeah, ace yeah. nine, even an ace ten. Like, just sort of playing this one slow. It's actually, yeah. Rom com is like a favorite. A ton of those hands, but they do exist. Yeah. So, like, that's right up there. Yeah, optimized is going to go big and target them. Yeah, she'll like it a lot. Life over bet here, 1.1. To First Mr. Robert, how are you? Good. I haven't seen you in a long time. You look good. I'm glad you're doing Back well. here, he does block <coughs> the clean jacks of the world. He improved on the turn, and yet his hand is oh, kind of bad. He beats like pocket sixes. Pocket deuces, pocket threes. I mean, these, these are the sorts of hands that you kind of have to start thinking about. But do those three bet you pre? No, they really don't. So then you're down to like six, seven. It's not a ton of hands. Doesn't make them fold up my shows. Okay. All right. Well, we got another handful of hands coming at you here. Is hand number 125 is going to be a PLO bomb pot, and that will be the final hand of the evening, yep. at least of the, the broadcast. These players very likely to continue yeah. playing. I feel like I was just, just, like just a request that we go a little bit longer. We didn't give the full hour, but we're going to stick around for a little while before the hamsters need to be fed. Are the blinds correct? I don't think this is right, because I was just big blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert here trying to come into the small blind, but uh, cannot do so. So we are going to make that man sit out for one hand. Robert needs to wait one hand. He needs to wait one hand. And then the plan goes to Jacob, right? Yes. Got it. Learning. Here, gonna open it up. Queen Jack. KFC will three bet him next to act. The ace nine suited. No takers through the blinds and the straddle. So back over to optimize, and he will release. KFC will take that one down quickly. And we'll move on to hand number 120. Robert will be in the mix now. Uh, Robert. Robert, and how much is your stack? How much are you buying it for? Uh, how many chips do you have? Uh, 3,000. 3,000? Coming in for 2K. Optimize is going to limp under the gun. A couple of black sailboats. And Jay Wynn will punish the limper. The raise to 125. And Optimize will make the call. So here we go. Heads up. A couple of jacks out there. Also a couple of spades. So Jay Wynn, two overs and high spades working. Optimize here. All things considered, this is not a bad flop. Small C bet from J Win. Check call from Optimize. Ten of spades now on the turn. J Win gets there immediately, improving to the king high flush. Let's have a redraw to the royal. Keep it small, 225 here for Jaywin. Tough for Optimize to have a real hand at this point. It is going to be a lot of things like what he has. Let's see if Optimize puts the money in here or if he just gets away from it. He 
is going to make the call and can only improve with a four or a jack. Doesn't find it. Checks it over and Jaywin here will be going for value once more. And then Optimize, I think, can comfortably call two streets, but calling a third street is getting a little bit dicey. Let's see where he settles here. The 700. <laughs> Kind of tough. Like, does J Win just do this with like Ace King, Ace of Spades, Ace Queen with the Ace of Spades, right? Maybe. A specific set of holdings that he would have to have where he is bluffing. And optimized mm. does let it go. Good hold there. Mm. Sometimes I had it. Uh, yeah. All right, so J1 will take down hand number 120. And move himself up just about $475 in profit. Optimize up over 5K, smashing this game here tonight. Masato, Tevet, Jacob, and KFC all stuck. What happened to snap calling on We did have uh, D time leave us just a little bit earlier for the end of the stream and uh, walk away with a tidy profit up about 2K, I believe it was. Snap call, lady. All right, it's going to be a raise to 75 by Josh, who's been relatively Check. quiet here Live stream. Actively. King nine off here, definitely a hand that we've seen him flat before, but Optimize will make the call. And top two here for Josh, Optimize bottom here. Check, check, four of hearts here on the turn. Josh gonna need to start building this pot at some point. Here comes a bet of 100. Optimized with just the third pair of sevens is going to make the call. Needed a seven and a seven only to improve to the better hand, but it's a queen of clubs. And yeah, Josh is going to bet again 225. And I mean, Josh really has not done any bluffing tonight. He has just checked down when he's had a loser and has bet when he's had a winner. So Optimize should be pretty well aware of that by this stage. And also recognize that, like, my God, look at this board. I guess he's got the jack. Thinking about perhaps turning his hand into a bluff, going for a big check raise here on the river. This would be a pretty spicy move, and I don't think it will work. And now the body language is leaning more towards, is this ever a call? And I think Optimize will realize that it's not. Ooh, no, he's going to make the call. Hero time out of Optimize. And yeah, Josh is just going to have this two pair, flop top two. It's a nice little hand there for Josh. Moves him up over 1,000 in profits here. Optimize taking a little bit of a hit, but it's still up a tidy amount. Robert buying in for 3K and hasn't played a hand yet. <coughs> they went first to act, definitely not going to do anything with the ace nine, but Robert will limp. King Jack offsuit. And Optimize will squeeze with Queen 10 suited. Robert here will go for the call. Play this one in position to optimize first act with the betting lead. And he flops top two. Robert up and down. Quick check, check here. Three of clubs improving optimize to backdoor club opportunities as well. 
280 in the middle, he's going to fire out half pot. Major Robert will make the call. Here we go, two of river, 600 in the middle. It's a four of hearts, changes nothing. Optimize here, best hand. Okay, best 500, really trying to cooler a, a queen. A king queen, queen jack, something like that. Can't get away from it, but uh, it's it not the case. What's your playing schedule like this day? I, I would normally play it, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did the kids like all the way? Yeah, you're gonna hit the whole neighborhood this year. You're gonna hit every house. <laughs> this is like right. a, you know, like a little burglar. Right, let's do it. Let's do yeah, it's gonna be a good lick. We're gonna hit up every neighborhood. Half of it right now. This one. Halloween is. I guess it was babies first. All right, Robert's first action. Yeah. He's out of the way. Six months. No, he's gonna limp. But I mean, wait, wait, Benny had a costume though. Josh is gonna limp. Six months. Limp. Oh yeah, yeah. He, uh, we put him in a stroller and we walked around and I carried him a Halloween candy with me. Every time I saw a kid. Yeah, you see and these and players hey, limping? It really it. just sort of. <laughs> but a couple parents makes were like, you want to okay, raise. You just feel like son, you can get away with it, but uh, uh, definitely at least one hand here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to him walking. He'll probably be able to Robert is in the mix. Robert, no. But there was plenty of like two to three year olds. Yeah, he's a little pimp. Hold the king queen suited I did, uh, earlier. He's not so going to do a bunch of the king queen this time. And all of our babies are roughly the same. With the betting, so there's probably like two under seven years old. But there was like under two years old. Dad so like got, we, got shot. We gave them all yeah, panic. So it was like nine. Nobody else panic connecting panic with this right board, though. If he bets, he really just get this one through. So I had a miss the tournament going on at the other club. Because 500 in the middle, that's 300. You only get so many firsts. Robert will take a peek and uh, probably just ditch this. Uh, I, I never care for Halloween, but like the more dads I talk to, they're like, oh, just wait a few years, man. Halloween's going to be yeah. one of your favorite. And when holidays. you're super under rep like this, and it's cheap and it's it hard. feels but like I mean, you need to like, You're just walking around the A lot of the time, oh, especially if you ever just like flat and open like, up this I mean, it's somehow it's not with like crazy. a middling yeah, pair. Yeah, yeah. And then but it's your just like, yeah, it's just not a scary board. Yeah. But yeah, but I mean, that's the problem with limping is you just you have a very limited capability to win the pot. And the queen, by far and away, the best hand is just going to go into the muck and massage it a little bit. Hand number 124, PLO Bomb Pot. So I guess uh, I, I've been told it was 125, but I think 124. The, the PLO Bomb Pot? Is that the last one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jesse, who's going to push you? All right, so hand number 124. Here we go, guys. This is going to be the final hand of the evening. And we're making it a four-card bomb pot. We'll get, uh, get these cards all out there. We'll get... Set up, live stream. Flop spread out. We'll get a brand new deck and let these players play without the uh, RF poker cards. And me and Mel... We can go get some food in because uh, we're running on empty. Good luck. Not greedy, like Masato. Need one more card to the uh, button. There it is. Okay. Got it sorted out. And I get There we go. It looks like the. Uh, Thursday night football game is just wrapped up. Eagles yeah. getting the win. The head tone right here, this side of the table. Okay. This is why I put it on this side, so I can. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. Bad parts and one pair here for KFC. Nothing inspiring. Jacob here. Two pair and a flush draw. We're going to check through to a turn. Up here with the majority of the equity on full four. They win. Have some opportunities though. We've got a pot bet from Jacob. Bunch of folds and over to Jaywin now, who has uh, spades, straight draw, a couple of pairs. 
gonna make the call here. Does have some ways to back into the win. That's not gonna do it on top, but the eight on bottom. That's going to leave him with two pair in the best hand. But if Jacob bets, it's going to put J1 in a pretty tough spot to call and get half as he did not improve on top. Yeah, naked two pair on bottom really doesn't feel very good. And Jacob here just sort of bombing away with the two pair on top and squad douche, just a pair of kings on the bottom board. He does hard block the, uh, the nut straight on the bottom board, so I like the play. And yeah, he's gonna get Jay Wynn to fold the best hand on bottom and he will scoop the pot. And that is how we will end the stream here. TCH Live Thursday edition. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for hanging out with me and Masato and the rest of the crew here at the table and in the production staff and just out there on the floor doing what we do. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this is your first night hanging out with us, do hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and come back and hang out with us again. We do stream four nights a week, Monday through Thursday live poker cash games as well as tournament final table on Saturday. So we'll see you guys uh, next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. But for myself and for all the staff here at TCH Live, thank you guys. We'll see you next time.